Seven months ago, Franklin lost everything. His house, his car, and all of his money. He was rock bottom until I stepped in and made him richer than he's ever been before. We upgraded his house and made him the most famous person around. But he got greedy. And before he knew it, he was homeless, cold, and had nowhere to go. But Franklin's clever and knew exactly what to do. And just as things went to plan, disaster. His life spiraled out of control. He went to the poorest and the richest prison and even joined the mafia. I put the entire adventure into a movie. So grab your popcorn and your soda, sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. Has this ever happened to you? You're sleeping away and suddenly a plane crashes into your house. I know, devastating. I don't even know what to do anymore. We have zero dollars and my life savings were inside Franklin's house. All of my money, my gold, my food, everything is in there. And since we don't even have insurance, there is nothing I can do. We are now homeless. The only thing I have left is a tent in my back garden, which we're using to sleep in. Upgrade costs $10. Hold on just a second. What do you reckon that means? The game is literally telling me if we want to upgrade, we gotta pay them $10. Well, that's gonna be kind of tricky because I have $0 in my bank account. But there's a ton of jobs we can do around Los Santos, including one at Michael's house. Let's go over there and see what that job's all about. Hey, Michael, I saw you got a job going at your house. What can I do? Mow the lawn. I'll pay you well. Interesting. Okay, Michael, it's gotta be worth more than $10, right? I'm gonna be mowing his entire lawn. Whoa, you really let this go. Isn't Jimmy meant to do this? Isn't it his job? It's so overgrown. Okay, Franklin, jump on the mower and let's get mowing. Oh, hold on a second. Am I mowing it? Oh, no way. I'm actually mowing the lawn. This is awesome. <laughs> Hey, Michael, check it out. This actually works. Really? Whoa. Okay, let's just go back and forth. All right, come on. Mow this patch of grass. There we go. That's perfect. That's looking so good. Oh, my days. This is so cool. I, I, <laughs> I've never mowed Michael's lawn before. Michael, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. You got to tip me at the end of this. Come on, buddy. Almost done. Oh, yeah. Beautiful patch of clean grass in the middle. I never thought it'd be this satisfying mowing Michael's lawn. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, this patch of grass is done. Let's do this one. As well. Beautiful. Perfect. Just go around the tree. Careful now, Franklin. Don't want to mow the flowers. And then, all right, let's just go back a little bit and then go forward a tiny bit just like this. And there we go. Another patch done. Just one patch left. Come on, it can't be too difficult. Almost there, Franklin. Yay! <laughs> I mowed my first part of the lawn. This is taking too long. I'm going to burn it down. Michael, hope you don't mind. This is a much more efficient way of getting rid of grass. <laughs> just throw one there. Another one there. All right, perfect. This is working. And then just one over there. All right, almost done. Just do one there. Oh, my days. It's pushing me back. Michael, heads, buddy. Heads. Jeez. <laughs> oh, almost got him. What did I say, Michael? You hired the right person for the job. Your lawn is, is spotless. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. It's still on fire, though. But there's no grass left. Michael, I think I've done a pretty good job. Now, pay up, buddy. I need this $10 if I want my life back. You could have done better. Here, take two bucks. Two bucks? Are you kidding me? I need to make $10 today if I want to upgrade Franklin's life. We can't be poor forever. I got a shower one day. <sighs> okay, Michael, you know what? I'm disappointed. You just had to give me $10 and my life would have been made so much more easier. I gotta find another job to do. Boy, I got a job for you. Grab me the car and I'll give you five bucks. Five bucks? These jobs are paying terrible money. Guess that's what we get for being homeless, Franklin. These guys are not paying me more than a few dollars. All right, buddy, you got yourself a deal. Let's go and grab this car for it. Hopefully, it's not too dangerous. So I'm looking for a car which is supposed to be down this road. Oh, no. There's someone holding a gun. Oh, jeez. They're guarding the car. Hey, buddy, can I just get past you? No, these are my steps. Oh, boy. He's not letting me through, and I haven't even got a single weapon to fight him with. Very well, my friend. I'll leave you alone for now. I gotta find another way down there. If I want to get the five bucks and upgrade Franklin's life, then we need to get that car. Oh, man. It's guarded on this side as well. There's another person here. No, no, no. It's mine. Mine. You know, it wouldn't hurt to be nice to people once in a while. Franklin, we're gonna have to take him out, but do this on the slide. Three, two, one. Oh my days. That wasn't Sly, Franklin. That wasn't Sly. Oh, jeez. At least I got his gun, though. I got eight bullets. I'm not gonna waste them. Okay, nice. There's one guy down. There's another guy down. Don't die, Franklin. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die, buddy. Yes, there's two people down. Amazing. Another guy down. I got four bullets left. Okay, nice. Don't miss a single shot, Franklin. 
Oh, no. I just missed a shot. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. This is going to be really tricky. Guys, can you just come down a little bit more? Oh, man. They're going to stay there, aren't they? All right, three, two, one. Bam. Now I've just got one bullet left. All right, run. Run, Franklin. Go get him. Go get him. Bam. Oh, no. I missed. I missed. I missed. But I picked up another one of their guns. Ugh, amazing. Well, that's all of them down. Let's grab the car. It looks like a very nice car, to be honest. I've got the car. I've taken out the guards. Whoa, did you see the door? This is a beast. Oh, my days. I didn't realize cars were made this well. All right, let's take it back to that guy and get my $5. I want to upgrade Franklin's life into a much better one. I can't be doing jobs like these all the time. I mean, come on. $5. We've made $7 already, and now there's only $3 left to go until we can upgrade Franklin's life. <laughs> let's go. Please don't judge me, guys. I have resorted to the worst of the worst. Hey, buddy, can I just wash your window? I'll do it for just some money, okay? Give it a few minutes and your truck's gonna be... Hey, hey, don't run me over. Come on. Amazing. I just got some money. Oh, boy. Franklin, we better run. I just got a three-star one to level. I made just enough money to be one dollar short. Are you kidding me, dude? Ugh, he called the police on me. You're not allowed to wash cars in the street now, apparently. Ugh, man, three stars? I don't want to go to jail. I want to upgrade Franklin's life. Wait, guys, do you see that? If you subscribe to the channel, I get one dollar. We'll be able to upgrade Franklin's life. Quick, subscribe now. The button's around the video somewhere. It's free to subscribe, and you'll get videos like this every day. You can always unsubscribe at any point as well. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I got another dollar. Amazing. Right, upgrade Franklin's life, please. I want to get out of this mess. Oh, my days. My house is spick and span exactly how I left it. There's my beautiful kitchen. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy. <laughs> I'm no longer poor. But hold on. It's telling me to upgrade again for $100. I'm not washing car windows to do that. There's got to be some other ways to make money, surely. Lester Crest. I wonder what he wants. Hey, Lester. I saw you got a job for me. How much you paying? Trevor's in a pickle. Can you help him? I'll pay you 50 bucks. Yeah, okay. I'll help out, guys. Looks like Trevor needs Franklin and someone has stolen my car. Just amazing. You guys are so funny. Come on. <laughs> someone literally stole my car. Well, I'll be stealing this guy's car. So for some reason, Trevor's in a sticky situation. And if we help him out, then I will get $50. What do you think Trevor's done? Let's make some guesses, guys. It could literally be anything. Oh, no. I think he's in the prison. And I've been sent over to this house. Are we sneaking into the prison? That sounds kind of fun. Amazing. Oh, my days. I think we are. There's a hole down here, and the prison is over there. Oh, guys, I reckon we're sneaking into the prison. Well, let's go. The things I do for Trevor. I'm literally in a tunnel underground. Oh, Trevor, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, wait, there's a ladder over there. Amazing. This is really small. Oh, my days. I think this ladder will take me up into the prison. We better be careful, Franklin. All right, let's go. Let's go. Where am I? What am I? Oh, my days. Yo, I'm in someone's cell. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay, I gotta get Trevor to this cell to get him out of the prison. They don't want me in here, guys. I'm being shot at already, and I got a two-star one to level. Trevor, where are you, man? I'm here to rescue you. Oh, my days. That was Trevor. That's Trevor, dude. What are you doing? Trevor, I've got you. Don't worry. I'm getting you out of here. Follow me. We don't have long. Oh, jeez. The guards are shooting me, man. Come on. Give me a break. <laughs> Get the guard, get the guard, get the guard. Oh my days, I'm running out of ammo. Trevor, just follow me, follow me. We're going through this door. I'm getting you out of the prison. <laughs> this is crazy. Trevor, you gotta move. You gotta, come on, don't be difficult with me. I am literally risking my life to say, what are you doing? Trevor, come on. <laughs> Fine, he's gonna do his own thing. I'm gonna leave the tunnel then. Trevor, follow me, man. I'm getting you out of prison. Job done. You're out. No wanted level. No one knows where we are. This is now your house, Trevor. Enjoy. I'm gonna go and get my paycheck. I've helped you out. Now you go on and live your crazy life. Phew, that was insane. Probably the quickest prison break I've ever done, too. Lester, it's done. Trevor's escapes, and he's living his life now. He might be back in prison, though. Who knows? It's Trevor. Perfect. Here's your money. All right, nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got any more jobs for me, Lester? Let me know. Now I need to find another way to make $50. But get this, Simeon's also got a job. I'm going there and seeing what he has. He usually pays very well. Get me some cars, yeah? Quick, I'll pay you good. Simeon usually wants some of the best cars in the game. So the cars we're going to collect, I have no doubt, will be some of the most expensive and some of the most beautiful cars in GTA 5. Let's see what he wants me to get today. You better be careful, Franklin. We're in a really rough side of Los Santos. If anyone catches wind to what we're doing, they're going to want a piece of it too. Now, the car. <gasps> there it is. Oh, my days. It is solid gold. All right, just walk along as if we, uh, you know, know what we're doing. Yep, that's me, Franklin Glinton, trying to upgrade my life, you know, as we do. So we got the Overflood Entity XXR. It is completely upgraded, solid gold.
world. It is one of the fastest cars in GTA 5, and I'm driving this right now. <laughs> Simeon's store is right around the corner. Hey, Simeon, I got your first car. Hopefully, this is all he needs. I don't want to spend my whole day collecting cars for him. Well, this has to be worth at least $10 million. Simeon, if you don't pay me well, I'm going to be very disappointed. I knew it. Simeon wanted some of the best cars. Look at this beauty. I kind of want to take this one for myself, but then Simeon won't even pay me. <laughs> Check this out, guys. I think this is the Tyrant Supercar. I hardly see these ever in GTA 5. Do you even own one of these? Let me know in the comments if you do. The doors are crazy. <laughs> oh, my days. It's an overflow again. The same make as the Entity XXR, the one we literally just collected. I love the green. I love the design of this. It's super duper fast. And once I take this back to Simeon, hopefully it'll be job done. There is no reason for him to underpay me. I didn't crash any. I didn't do any problems with him. You know, this was a smooth transaction. Check it out. I got your next car. Is that everything? Hey, thanks, bro. Here's your money. $30? Are you kidding me? I rescued Trevor out of prison and got paid more money than this. I got you two lovely supercars, Simeon. I'm gonna steal this one. I'm selling it off and I'm getting millions of dollars for it. Oh, no. No, Simeon, how have you done that, man? You've locked the doors already. Ugh, man, he's locked me out. What about the next one? Please, please. I just wanna... Oh, my days. Come on, Simeon. You ripped me off again. I can never trust Simeon. One day he wants to be nice to me. The next day, he just wants to be the most annoying person in the world. Hey, Michael, what are you doing at the park? And what is that commotion? What are those dogs doing? Michael, do you need my help again? Save my daughter's cat. Please, I'll do anything. <laughs> Hey, guys, how about you pick on someone your own size? Scram! Leave! Go away! Oh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, don't attack. No! Jeez! Don't attack me now! Oh, my days, guys. The dogs are angry. Quick, run! <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Run, Franklin! Run, run, run! Oh, my days, they're still chasing me! Okay, I gotta grab a car. Excuse me, I need this car. Please, 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 just give me the car, give me the car, give me the car, give me the car. Let me in, let me in! Oh, my days! Whoa! They're very vicious dogs. Well, I'm glad that's over. That gave me a scare. At least I saved the cat, though. And there's my money. We can finally upgrade Franklin's life again. No way. This is my house now? Guys, we've upgraded Franklin's house to something even crazier. So, my house is back to normal. I got a maid now. This is great. Have you guys seen my garden? My garden's huge. I've even got like a summer house out there with a gym and I have friends. There's a personal chef out here doing his job. Amazing stuff. And it tells me again that I can upgrade for $1,000. If we make $1,000 today, then we get to upgrade this again. When does it even end? I've got a TV down there. Oh my days. Look at my swimming pool. Yo, this is crazy. Guys, you won't believe this. There is heist now. I can do heists. Like all of these dollar signs and this jewel thing as well. Once I do this, we should make a thousand dollars. I'll be shocked if we don't. I'm literally robbing a jewelry store. And I'm going to do it as quick as I can. The Vangelico jewelry store. All right, guys. Everyone get down to the ground. This is a robbery. Oh my days. They're shooting me. They're shooting me. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Have some respect. Right, I got to shoot the cameras. I'm running out of time. I got one minute, 45 seconds. Another one down is, oh my days, there's so many cameras in here. Why do you have so many cameras, guys? Where are the other cameras? Oh, there, one there. Beautiful. Now clean out the store. You know the drill, Franklin. Start cleaning out the store. How much are we making? 75 bucks? What, is this fake jewelry or something? Guys, where are the diamonds? 150. Oh my days, the whole McDonald's menu is worth more than this, man. This is 75 bucks a cabinet. 225. Oh boy, this is gonna be really tense. Come on, rob this one. 375. 450. Are you crazy? Come on. Another 75 bucks. Oh my days. I got five stars for this. The police are gonna arrive in a minute, Franklin. Just make it to a thousand. Make it to a thousand, buddy. Come on. Six, seven, five. Okay, it's consistent. 75 bucks per cabinet. I don't even know if we're gonna have enough money, guys. I don't think we are. Oh my days, we're running short. There's not too many left. Come on, come on. 50 seconds to go. Make that 900. We just need to rob two more cabinets. Yes, there are enough cabinets. We just need to get them. And then let's grab this one. All I need is a thousand dollars. There we go, I'm done. I got a thousand and fifty. I'm leaving now. I'm going. Hey, bro, I got the money. Don't you worry. It's done. Give me, give me, give me the 1,000 bucks now, please. 1,050 bucks. Now let's do this again. Upgrade Franklin's life. What is gonna happen next? No way. No way. This is it. This is the ultimate. Guys, it won't let me upgrade anymore. But check this out. This is Franklin's house. Oh my days. Even the garage door opens. This is amazing. So check it out, guys. Garage number one. Full of supercars. Let's go up again to garage number two. Hold on, dude. I think I even have a balcony. Is this the rooftop? of 
Franklin's house? It is. And check it out. This is my balcony now. I got champagne, tea light candles, even a bowl of fruit. I'm rich. We eat healthy now. And here is um another room. Oh my days, dude. Franklin's got a secret office. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Yo, this is crazy. Franklin, to think you're the only person who lives here. You don't need this much space. And this is the very upstairs where I've got even more supercars and a gym. Oh, whoa. Franklin wants to gym now. Okay, Franklin, you got yourself a gym and a bedroom up here. There is literally no excuse to not work out now. It is behind your bed. <laughs> And panoramic views across the whole city. Considering at the start of the day, a plane crashed into my house, I would have never expected this to have happened. We have had a crazy experience today. Franklin has a billion dollars. He's just robbed the bank, and he's going to live the life of his dreams. But there's a problem. When I entered the bank, everything was going so well. I took out the tellers, I got through the gates, and I went through the vault door, but I forgot to prop it open. And now... I'm stuck inside the vault. And I can hear the police on their way already. Their sirens are distant, but they're on their way. I've tried everything from running into the vault to even blowing it open, but nothing seems to work except this. In the corner of my screen, it says 10 of you guys need to subscribe to open the vault. If you don't, I'm going to get arrested, lose all of my money, and go to jail, which I really don't want to do. I've just made a billion dollars, see? Oh, man, we can't afford to lose that, guys. Quick, subscribe to my channel. All I need is 10 of you guys to press the button so we can live life as a billionaire. Believe me, we're going to go on the craziest spending spree. <laughs> Has it worked yet? I don't see that go down. Hey, no one subscribed yet. What are you doing? Oh, yes, it's working. Amazing. Nine subscribers. Seven, five. Yes, it's going down. Four, three, two. Yes, I can open the vault. Does that mean I can just walk straight into it? Oh, my days, I can. Yes. <laughs> Finally, I'm so glad to be out of there. Come on, Franklin, let's get out of here, dude, before the police show up. Luckily for us, I left a pretty nice getaway car outside. It better still be there. I did park it up. Yes, it is. Amazing. <laughs> my trusty at a supercar. Boy, I'm so glad I'm not stuck in that vault. They would have so arrested me, and I would have lost everything. All right, don't worry, guys. I know just the plan. This is only a two-star wanted level. I'll lose them in no time. Let's get out of the city. We're way too hot for this. I've just lost the police, and now I have a billion dollars to my name. <laughs> you know what that means? I got away with it, guys, and I can do whatever I want. Now I'm a billionaire. I can literally buy anything. We're gonna have such an amazing day, buying so many things. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing that, guys? That's a giant mansion. All right, maybe we can start with buying a nice car first. I wonder what we can buy around here. Wait a second. Truck! <gasps> Franklin? Franklin! Franklin, talk to me! Franklin, talk to me! Guys, something really bad has happened to Franklin. I can't see anything! Oh, my head. Seriously? How did I get in my house? Wait a second. Who is that? They've got a gun. They've got a... Lester? What? What are you doing in my house? Don't you remember? No, Lester, I don't remember. Can you explain to me again why we're in this situation? One second I was in a bank, next second I was a billionaire, and now I'm in my house, and you've got a gun to me. So tell me, what's going on? We agreed five years ago that if you make a billion dollars and don't spend it in 24 hours, I get to keep everything, everything. Hey, Lester, I didn't think I would ever make a billion dollars, okay? I, I made that as a joke. Yeah, well, guess who's joking now, huh? No one! How does he know I even had a billion dollars in the first place? So if I don't spend this in 24 hours, Lester's gonna come for me, and he's gonna take everything I own. This is gonna be really hard. How long do I have? 24 hours. 24 hours? Okay. Well, I'm sure we can figure something out. Are you gonna drop the gun, Lester? No! Alright, that's cool. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna leave my house this way then. If I don't spend this money, I'm gonna lose everything to Lester. Let's take a look. What can we buy, Franklin? There's gotta be stuff online, like really nice things. Huh, travel and transport, elite travel. <laughs> Ooh, $10 million? Yes, I'll get that. That's literally just 1%. I gotta buy a hundred of those. Okay, what about this one for five million? And then this one for a million? I spent $25 million on Alita's travel. That is literally two and a half percent of what I gotta spend. What about on here? So my price. I want most expensive. The most expensive. I just spent another $25 million on legendary motorsports. Oh, this is so tricky. Okay, let's see. Tanks? Only $3 million? Come on. There is no way I can spend all of my money just doing this. I spent $10 million on there, another $10 million on there, and barely anything on these two. Now I'm left with $930 million, and I bought everything you can possibly buy in the game. That sucks, Franklin. There's got to be something else we can do. Simeon, what do you want? This better be good. I don't want any jobs today. No jobs. Frank, I have the ride of your life. The ride of my life, Simeon? Are you sure?
sure about that. Yes. Okay, I'm on my way. Perfect. I'll see you there, my friend. All right, Simeon has got a ride of my life. Uh, let's go and see what that is. Hopefully, this ride of my life is actually worth a lot of money. I mean, I never thought I would say this, but I really want to get ripped off today so I can keep everything. I mean, if you were to spend a billion dollars in 24 hours, what would you buy? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and smash like. If we get this video to 50,000 likes, then one of you guys statistically will probably become a billionaire. If you want that to be you, you better press like. <laughs> let's see what Simeon's got for me today. Hey, Simeon. Whoa, this is a really nice car. <laughs> hey, uh, how much money do you need for this ride? I got money to spend. For this beauty, 100 million dollars. That's kind of steep, Simeon. I think you could get this for less, but guys, I can officially say I'll be driving around a hundred million dollar supercar. <laughs> Simeon, you got yourself a deal. You won't regret this. I promise I will not steal this car from you in the future. Hey, uh, thanks, Simeon, I guess. So, hey, hey, take the money, okay? Just, just don't take my car, right? This is my car. I really like it. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's a Lamborghini. Wow, look at the inside. Yo, only super rich people can buy this. Like, come on, this is a hundred million dollars. <laughs> And it's all mine. This has to be one of a kind. There is no way anyone has a car like this. No way. Look at the dashboard. All red. And those buttons, the steering wheel. <laughs> this is a beautiful car. I honestly can't wait to take this for a spin. Let's see how fast this actually goes on the road. Let's do this. <laughs> coming through, guys. Coming through. Hopefully this time, Lester doesn't crash into me with a big truck. Whoa, whoa. Too fast. You can't stop me. Oh, my days. We might crash. We might crash. Come on, Franklin. Watch out. <laughs> We're so going to ride this car off. This is too much fun. Fun. Okay, let's slow this down, Franklin, and take it slowly and steadily, okay? <laughs> nice. Hey, what does this guy want? He seems to be calling my name. No photos, okay? This is a really expensive car. What does he want, dude? Hey, nice ride. Can I get in? Yeah, I suppose you can. Just don't do anything stupid or crazy. So, what do you want, mister? Tell me now, or else you're getting kicked out. Well, I'm a real estate agent with the best properties in town. How do you fancy taking a look at them? They cost a lot of money, but I think you can afford one. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I would love to see what's for sale. Maybe that's another way I can spend this money. And we could get a really nice house in the process. <laughs> oh my days. Do you remember the one I saw at the start? When I crashed into the truck? Maybe I can buy that one too. He is going to show me the villa. I knew it. I saw it this morning and it looked brand new. Wow. No one's even moved in yet. And it comes with a helicopter. That's insane. <laughs> the most expensive house in Los Santos. At $75 million. This lovely masterpiece could be yours. Whoa. Hey, do you mind if I just quickly pop my head inside? I mean, if I'm spending 75 million bucks on this, I need to see what it's all about. <laughs> wow. I love the chandelier. Wow. And the view of the road down there and Los Santos. Hey, man, this is an easy buy. I'll buy this for 75 million dollars. Easy. I've just spent 75 million dollars on literally the nicest house in Los Santos. This is such a beautiful place. <laughs> but we're not done yet, guys. I'm only a fraction of the way down to spending my billion dollars. I bought everything in the game, the nicest house and the nicest car and we've only got a fraction down. This is going to be really tricky. Maybe I can speak to him and see if he knows anywhere else I can buy. By the way, this place comes with a movie theater and a bedroom next to the movie theater. Does it get any crazier than this? Hey, so I really like this house. Do you have anything else I can buy? Of course. Follow me. Yes. Oh my days. There's even more things. Let's go and see what they are. For $50 million, you could own the most prestigious club in Los Santos. The Yacht Club. The Yacht Club. Hey, this actually looks pretty nice. I've never been inside this place, but I can't believe I'm about to go in. I'm inside the Yacht Club. This is a secret club only for members who have a yacht. And there's a fireplace. There's an actual fireplace. No way. There is a miniature golden yacht statue. Wow. This is some serious business. I now own the Yacht Club, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to join? Only subscribers allowed. So if you're not subscribed, then you can't join. I'm sorry, guys. It's the rules. <laughs> oh, there's the estate agent just standing on a table. <laughs> Another miniature yacht. I kind of want to check out downstairs. I haven't been down yet, and I don't actually know how we do that. <laughs> Seems like I'm stuck up here right now. Here we go. It's through the surveillance door, and away we go, guys. I'm inside the yacht club with the bar in the middle. You can order drinks hour by hour, minute by minute. Who cares? <laughs> There's a slushy machine. I don't like the green slushies. They're disgusting. This is so nice. Hey, guys, come on. Come on. I want a massive party here with as many of you guys around. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. I now own the yacht club. There's a grand piano in here. We're gonna have some fun, and let's look at these photos. Some 
really old historic photos of previous members and founders of the Yacht Club. Let's see what else this guy has to sell. For $75 million, this paradise could be yours. Count me in. This looks like a really good paradise. There's a waterfall. There's even a bridge over the waterfall. Helicopters. And have you seen all the supercars and people down there? Okay, I want to check this out. Franklin, we're jumping down. Let's do this. Coming through, everyone. Your new owner has arrived. <laughs> I wonder where this goes to. Ow, ow, ow. I hit a tree. I hit a tree. Okay, there's a golden helicopter. The parking lot. Oh, my days. This took me upstairs. Okay, this is the parking lot. And this is a very, very nice parking lot. <laughs> hey, let's see what that car is. It's like some sort of designer car. It looks very cool. No photos, please. No photo. Very rich guy coming through. I want to get up there on that bridge. That takes me to Sandy Shores. There is a tunnel straight through this mountain, which goes to Sandy Shores. Maybe we don't go to Sandy Shores yet. There's still so much more to check out, like this place. Masonette Los Santos. <laughs> Lester's gonna get the surprise of his life. We might actually spend all of our money, guys. 730 million. We're not even halfway. I love that bridge down there. That looks like paradise, dude. So nice. Okay, you know what, Franklin? There isn't much time to waste. I got 24 hours, remember, and we're eating into this time. I'm gonna find that estate agent and find something else to buy. He better know a few other places. Hey, listen, man. I still need somewhere else to buy. I got so much more money to spend. Okay, okay. Calm down. I know just the place. For 130 million bucks, you could buy this secret military island. Yeah, count me in, dude. I now have my own military island. <laughs> we're right on San Andreas over there. In my own space in the water, there is no one who can find me or stop me. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Wow, a military island. Guys, I just bought this place for $130 million. I'm 40% in to spending all of my money. And I've bought literally everything I can imagine. <laughs> From mansions to party islands to even military islands. This is crazy. I am so far away from San Andreas. I don't think anyone knows this existed. I definitely didn't. And it comes with my own army. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's take a look inside. Maybe there's like some more secrets in there. I don't know. Are we going to find aliens? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Da -da -da. Afternoon, guys. This is your new owner coming through. I have nothing to do with the military, but I now own this place. <laughs> wow. You can go inside. And down here is a submarine. No way. Oh, my days. And there's even vaults over there. Dude, there's vaults. There's vaults. I, I bet there's money in there. There's got to be more vaults. They're installing a lot of vaults, guys. And look at this. There's gold. This must be all of Franklin's money. As you can see, I spent about 40% of it. <laughs> Still got tons of gold left. Well, this is a really cool base. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm glad I bought this. But time goes on and I'm still losing time. So let's see what else we can buy. Hey, man, I really appreciate everything you've done. But do you have anything else I can buy? Like something a little bit more expensive? What do you mean? I told you everything. No, I got nothing left, okay? Wow, all right. No need to get angry at me, dude. I don't think this guy likes the fact I just bought every single house. <laughs> well, thanks anyway for your business, I suppose. I won't be needing you again. Since we're on Military Island, bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck on finding someone to stop me. So now I've got $600 million left. I still need to find a way to spend that money. Is there anything I've missed online? Here we go. There's a website. Secret website? No way. What have I just found? <laughs> Guys, if I buy this mystery item for $10 million, I get something. Is this going to be worth it? Is this a ripoff? I, I I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see what happens. All right. Bye. Right. Let's see. What did I get? Your item has been delivered to Franklin's house. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. I got to go to my house. Well, that's okay. I'll just, I'll take off in my plane on my runway <laughs> and check out this item. What do you think the mystery item is? This is crazy. I can just buy mystery items for $10 million a piece. Well, here we go. Time to get out of this place. I wonder what's been delivered. This. Do you want to make any guesses? Let's make this fun. I reckon we've got a really, really nice car. <laughs> but I suppose it could be anything. The one thing I don't want is a bucket of ice. I wouldn't like that. That would be mean. For $10 million? I mean, technically, they could give me anything. Oh, no. We better get that quickly, Franklin. I really hope I haven't been ripped off. Well, I've come far enough. Now the only thing to do is to jump out and parachute down. There is no way I'm landing this plane. <laughs> Where is it going to crash? Oh, boy. That's got to be a bad crash. There's got to be a <laughs> Bad crash. Hey, sorry, guys. I'll pay for it. I promise. Now, let's see what's been delivered to my house. I'm so excited. I don't see anything new. Literally nothing. I don't see anything. Guys, I, there's literally nothing here. What about my garage? Nothing in my garage? 
I was told something's been delivered. That's my car. That's my bike. Wait a second. A shoe? Oh, my days. I just spent 10 million dollars on a shoe. Guys, I take it back. This is worse than a bucket of ice. I could do something with a bucket of ice. What am I gonna do with one shoe? Hobble around Los Santos? Hey, guess what, guys? I got two legs. Two legs. Oh, my God. I'm so... You know what? Screw it, guys. I'm gonna buy it again. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we get something better this time. All right, 10 million dollars. Give me something good. Oh, my days. Guys, I finally got something good. <laughs> Yes! I just got a luxury jet. Uh, get on the roof, Franklin. I need to check this out. I just got a plane. It spawned on my roof. I just bought this. It's the mystery item. <laughs> well, this is much better than a shoe. No way. There's seats in here. There's a sofa. There's even a bedroom at the back. Wow. All right. This is nice. I'm not going to lie. This is really, really nice. I really want to fly this now. <laughs> you could have put this somewhere a little bit more convenient. Not just my roof. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now let's go. <laughs> Whoa, the acceleration's not bad. Wow, I just took off like it was nothing. Whoa, this is a seriously fast jet. Guys, I've never flown a jet this fast. I'm going so fast. Whoa, this is the nicest blade ever, dude. And I just got it for 10 million bucks. Wow. Hey, I wonder what else we can get with that mystery item. Let's let's buy something else. Uh, go again. Oh, wait, it's locked. I can only buy it three times. Well, they've delivered something to my house. That's kind of annoying. I wish I could just keep buying that mystery button for the rest of the video. That would have made things so much easier. Well, I've capped out how many times I can buy stuff with it, but there's something at my house. <laughs> are you ready to see what it is? Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, uh, eyes, eyes on the eyes on the sky. Eyes on the sky, Franklin. Or the buildings. That would be fantastic. Please don't crash. This is a really, really nice jet, and the wing actually moves at the back. That's so smooth. That is so smooth. I really like that. Beautiful. Um, all right. Well, I've just been given a bunch of supercars. <laughs> Not gonna complain. This is pretty cool. Dude, I've been given, like, 25 supercars. Hey, 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 guys, do you mind? Do you mind? Not crashing into my cars. I know I got 25 of them, but come on. <laughs> this is insane. I've just been given 25 supercars for 10 million dollars. I think this is a pretty good deal, but I can't use that button anymore, and I've still got 570 million left. I'm not even halfway through. There's got to be something else I can do. There has to be. Ow, ow. Come on, Franklin. Think. Think, buddy. Think. I'm getting a phone call from a businessman. <laughs> is that just his name? Hey, what do you want? You're spending fast. How would you like to buy a 10 bedroom state-of-the-art yacht? I would love to. How much money does that cost? 270 million bucks. 270 million? Oh my days, that's amazing. I'll be right there. Well, let's go and see what this yacht is like for 270 million bucks. That's really gonna do me favors. Whoa, that's the yacht. Is it that one or is it that one? I think it might be the gold one, but let's find out. Where is he? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hang on a second. This guy looks like a businessman. Hey, buddy, are you the person selling me the yacht? That's me. For 270 million bucks, that gold machine behind me could be yours. You know what, buddy? You've sold me. I'll buy the yacht. Don't you want to look around it or something? No, I'm good. I'll just I'll just get the yacht now, you know. I'm running out of time. The sun's going down. I, I need to spend my money. Well, okay. We got ourselves a sale. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right, I've just spent 270 million bucks on this thing. It better be nice. I'm left with 30% of my money. We might actually spend a billion dollars in 24 hours. To Lester's surprise as well. <laughs> if we actually do this, I'm gonna be gobsmacked. But let's check out this yacht. I can see a luxury golden helicopter on the end of the golden yacht. But what does it look like inside? So this is the first floor. Down there takes you down a spiral staircase to the exit. But up here, we have these lovely sofa chatty areas. <laughs> and then this is another place to chill out with sofas, kitchen, a very long table for 10 lucky guests. And this is where everyone sleeps. The 10 bedrooms. Wow. Hey, let's go upstairs and see what else this place has to offer. A coffee table, dining experience. This table's too small. I mean, what do you, what do you think I'm going to do? Sit here and then leap forward to put my drink down? Nah, nah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Super duper long table, more sofas, and look at that lovely view of the beach. But let's go up even more, guys, because we can. And up here is a bar. Nice. A grand piano. I can play some tunes on here. And then through here is where you sell the beast. There's still a few more levels on this boat, but overall, guys, I'm pretty happy. And for $270 million, I think we made a pretty good deal. Anyway, it's not over yet, because if we don't spend $300 million by the end of the day, then Lester's gonna take everything we own and more. Come on, Franklin. Keep spending, buddy. Keep spending. Buy the Krastenberg Hotel. Oh, no. Guys, I didn't think I could do this. I can buy businesses. That's amazing. How much money is the Krastenberg Hotel? $100 million. I just bought it, guys. I now own this hotel. Wow. Okay, I actually think we're gonna spend our money now. I genuinely do. <laughs> I just bought the most luxury hotel in Los Santos. Now I got $200 million left. What else can we buy? It's gotta be a big business. It's gotta be 
something big. It's gotta be something nice, something good, something expensive, like the Eclipse Tower's apartment block. Oh my days, imagine if I could buy all of those. The tower is literally right over there, guys. I gotta find out for myself. <laughs> Hey, if I can, how much money do you think it's gonna cost? I guess there's only one way to find out. The Eclipse Towers. Wow. I can buy this as well for $50 million? Whoa! Yeah, count me in. I have just purchased the Eclipse Towers for 50 million bucks. All of the apartments are now mine. I don't have much left to spend. Just $150 million, which I reckon we can do quite easily. Let's go into Los Santos. There's gotta be something expensive over there. The shopping mall. No way. I can buy this as well. All right, I purchased the shopping mall for Thought, that's a weird price. Wait a second. How much do I have left? I'm left with $9,423. No, 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 no. Why couldn't I have just bought this for like a, a, a nice 150 million? Oh my days, guys. I think the shopping mall was a bad idea because I just bought all of the stock inside. Well, that's okay. I may have just screwed myself over. I'll pay for 9,000 sodas if I have to. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Not to worry, Franklin. I know just the place to go. I know we're running out of time, but this man will take money from you no matter what. All the way to the last penny. Simon's got a BMX, a quad bike, and a tiny car. Yo, I gotta buy these. I think I have just enough money. Hey, uh, Simeon, can I buy these rides? What are you doing, Simeon? Yes, I've made my lunch. Yes, I know. Uh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. I love you too. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. That's really strange. Hey, uh, Simeon, can I buy some cars? What are you doing in my office? I was in a very important business meeting. The only business meeting you were involved in, Simeon, was lunch. Now, now, me. I, I got some money to spend. I really want to buy those cars outside. Please, can we just, you know, put that down and let me buy some rides? I got nothing good for you. Nothing. Well, that's strange, Simeon, because I can see some rides out there, which I would really, really like to buy. You know, those bikes, the quad bikes, the cars, all of those things. Why would you want to buy those? Simeon, listen, buddy. I just, I can't explain. Can you just please sell me them? Well, sure. The car costs $5,000. Uh, the quad bike, 4000 And the BMX, 500 How much have you got? I have have 9,423, which means I can buy that one, that one, but I'm, oh no, I'm $77 away from the BMX. Can you cut me a deal, Simeon, if I buy all three of them now? No! Oh, you're really stubborn. Okay, you know what? I'll just buy these two, and I'll figure out a way to spend the $423 somehow. How am I gonna do this now? I have $423, and I don't know what to do with that money. I, I could buy 423 sodas, but I think we've run out of time. Okay, get in the car, Franklin. We'll figure this out. There's gotta be something else we can do around here. Hang on a second, guys. Lamar's giving me a phone call. Hey, Lamar, what's up? Help me. Help me. Uh, uh, okay. All right, all right. I'm on my way. Uh, what, 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 what's happened with Lamar, dude? It doesn't sound like he's in a good situation right now. I wonder what he's done. Oh, no. I think Lamar's stuck in the water. Hey, Lamar, are you out there? Oh, guys, I forgot he can't swim very well. I can see him. I can see him. Let me just double check. That's definitely him. Hey, Lamar, talk to me if that's you. Help me. Help. Oh, boy, it is, guys. It is. He's right in the ocean. And it looks like he's come off his jet ski over there there. Don't worry, Lamar. Hold on. I'm going to get you. There's a jet ski right here. Once I save his life, I'm just going to ask for $77, and then I can buy the BMX with Simeon and officially say I spent a billion dollars in 24 hours. Hey, Lamar. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to save you. Get on my jet ski. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thanks, Franklin. You're the best. Hey, don't mention it, Lamar. You would do the same for me. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, bro, I would. Well, since I saved you and you appreciate your life, uh, can you pay me some money? I really need $77. Sure thing. It's the least I can do. Thanks, Lamar. You're a legend. Now I have $500. And you know what that means. Oh, seriously, Simeon? You're still pointing a gun at me now? I don't trust you at all. Whatever, Simeon. Can I just buy the BMX, okay? I saved Lamar's life. I'm a good guy and now I have $500. Yes, of course. I am a salesman after all. Buy the BMX. Go on, I dare you. Yep, well, I just bought the BMX. Something really strange is up with Simeon right now, but I'm off. I got my BMX. <laughs> and I just went from a billion dollars to zero dollars in GTA 5. Check it out. I never thought I would see the day, guys. Zero dollars. <laughs> Lester's gonna be so annoyed when he finds out I spent so much money, all of it for that matter. And I bought some pretty nice places, including a military base. Well, since I spent that money. Let's go and live in my really nice house, and then we'll meet Lester and see what he has to say. Total luxury. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, did you spend all of your money? <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Lester, I did. I Look, I got zero dollars. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> I beat the challenge, which means you can't take anything from me. What? Uh, no, uh, this can't be true. You must have cheated. Where are you hiding it? Lester, I'm not hiding it anywhere, man. <laughs> you can watch the video back. I spent it on so many things. I have luxury yachts. I have a really nice car. Actually, that's it coming up the driveway now. See what I say. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'll have to show you the yacht eventually. Oh, I even have a military base. So don't even think about trying to get me, all right, Lester? Trust me, I'm well prepared. And I got a bunch of nice cars in my house. Wow, we bought so many things. I even have a party place. Dude, I have a party place. Well, it's been fun. I spent a billion dollars in GTA 5, and I never thought I would see the day we actually hit zero bucks. But this is kind of awkward. I can't exactly afford food, electricity, or anything else like that. I wonder what we're gonna do. Maybe there's, like, something hidden around this house, like a secret stash of money. <laughs> Who knows, guys? Let's take a little look around. Maybe we'll find something. Like, what could be through this door? I haven't even explored this place yet, but man, it is nice. Look at that bath. Ooh, I found an office. Now, if there's gonna be money anywhere, it's gonna be here. Yes! I found some money on the side. <laughs> and there's a computer. Is there anything on here? <gasps> no way! I just found a ton of Bitcoin! <laughs> Amazing! Well, I now have a secret stash of cash, which Lester doesn't know about. Shh. <laughs> and we are gonna live a very nice life after all. Trevor convinced us to put all of our money on a horse. Turns out, it only had three legs. We lost everything. Cars, houses, and even our family. I had to sell chop just to survive. I miss him so much. Quit complaining. Easy for you to say, Trevor. You don't mind this life. You seem to actually enjoy it. But I can't stand another tin of cold beans for dinner. Ugh. No, it makes me sick to my stomach. All of us combined have a grand total of zero dollars, and we need five hundred thousand dollars just to buy our cars, two million dollars to get our houses back, and five million dollars to get our family and shop back. Although, I don't think Michael's getting his family back. They actually don't like him. This is a mess, guys. We've been sleeping on the streets for way too long. When we arrived here, there was no greenery. It was literally just concrete. How have we done this? This can't be any job either. No, 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 no. This has to be the best job ever. Something which will get us all of this money by the end of the day. I don't want to spend another night on the street. Okay, guys? I don't think I can survive it. Oh, I can. Yeah, whatever, Trevor. All right, I don't care if you can. We can't. Surprisingly, he doesn't seem to mind that he's homeless at all. In fact, I think it's not much of a lifestyle change for him at all. Hello? I'm looking for a job. Hello? Da, da, ow, ow, come on, man. You didn't need to throw me out of the bank. You guys smell. Come back when you look presentable. Oh, man, guys. Looks like we're gonna get some clothes first. Some new, fresh, clean Clean clothes. Bingo clothes. More trash for less cash. This is exactly what we need, Franklin. They're gonna have some really cheap clothes in here. These are the smartest clothes they have. Let's see how much money they cost. Ah, oh, man. I gotta make $300 to buy this, which means we need to make about 1000 for everyone to get new clothes. Okay, that's fine. We'll figure it out, guys. We always will. I mean, it's only $1,000. We could probably get that from the people on the street. Now, let's see. What kind of things could we do with nothing around? Hmm. What about washing cars? Let me wash your windows for you. I will do this for a couple of dollars. Please, come on, just give me some money. I will literally accept anything. Please. I just got $10. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're the best. You can move on now. Bye. <laughs> Right, what about this person's windows? Trevor, what are you doing? What are you- No, Trevor, what are you doing to that poor lady? What are you doing? Make you some money? Jeez, Trevor, there's police there. Come on, he's crazy. I gotta get this police officer. He's gonna attack Trevor. Don't, don't leave him alone. Come on. He's my friend and my only friend. Four. No, I got a three-star one to level. Stop shooting him. He's my friend. Leave him alone. Oh, no, Trevor's on a rampage. This is his way of making money homeless. I love how out of all of this, Michael is still dancing. <laughs> Trying to make some money. Okay, you know, Oh, buddy, you just keep dancing back. Go and make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's on a proper rampage. All right, well, he did just get that lady, and apparently that made him quite a bit of money. I have no idea where he's gone. No, I need to lose the one to level now. Trevor's just ditched me. I saved him, and he ran away. But since Trevor's going after people, he might have actually made a lot more money than me. The coast is clear, Franklin. We've lost the one to level. Oh, 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 Trevor, hey, how you doing? So how much money did he make from that lady, huh? $10,000? Wait a minute, you made $10,000 from her? Hey, screw that place. Let's go and get some actual suits. There he is. Hey, Michael, we got $10,000 from that. Come on, let's go and buy some new clothes, buddy. All right, guys, remember, 
We're the one buying the clothes. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, you don't need to tell me I smell, okay? I'm just here to buy a suit. Let's buy a suit, Franklin. We're looking good. Oh, yeah. Would you look at us? The boys are back in town. Let's go. We're gonna get ourselves the best job in Los Santos. Still no home. Still homeless. Still no car. But at least we look rich. Although there is one problem. Guys, we need haircuts. Let's do this, Franklin. Let's go. Hello, ma'am. I need a good old haircut. You know, I need a good trim around the side. And so do my friends. All right, let's see. Franklin, that beard of yours, that's going. Ooh, we can actually get some, like, proper designs here. Oh, my days. That actually looks pretty good. You know what? Triple rails? Or do we just go north? No, let's go triple rails. That looks pretty nice. Snibbity, 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 snip. And bam! We're a new man. Well done, Franklin. Do I want that or do I want an afro? I mean, that does make us look really rich, Franklin. Thank you so much, ma'am. You've made me feel like a million bucks. Guys, you gotta love this service. Looking clean, Trevor. Looking clean. This must be the most business she's had all day. Oh, we actually. Three customers in a row? Boys, we're looking like a million dollars. Let's go and get those jobs at the bank. We're gonna rob it of every single penny, but in a way that no one notices. If all three of us get a job there, we can do such a perfect heist that nobody will catch us. Hello, we're looking for a job again. All three of us, of course. We look presentable, we don't smell. Franklin, stand up straight, buddy. There he is, there's the manager. Please, give us a job. I will do anything, anything. You three are gonna fit right in. I got a job for all of you. Yes, that's great. What what kind of job is that? Not quite the job I had in mind. How did it end up like this? I'm a cleaner, Michael is a guard, and somehow Trevor's made it onto the tills. How is he the guy on the tills? He doesn't even know how to count, and he's nowhere near trusted with money. Although he seems to be making a good impression on those people. They're laughing down there. Oh, man. All right, Franklin, just clean the bank. Clean the bank. <laughs> it's not like we're planning a big heist or anything. A wink, wink. I'm leaving. Can you lock up tonight? Yes, sir. Great. See you tomorrow. The last person is leaving the building tonight. There he goes. And once they use the ATMs, this place will be locked up for good. Hey, guys, we're closing now. Can you leave? Amazing. Now the place is ours. All right, let's lock the door quickly so no one else comes in. Perfect. Door locked. <laughs> now, I am the cleaner and Michael is the guard. We're not allowed to go through those gates. They wouldn't want to trigger any alarm. So I'm going to leave Trevor to do this. Trevor, can you go down there and get the golden cash and everything else you can carry? And then we can, like, you know, buy our stuff back and not be homeless again. I knew getting jobs at the bank was the best idea. And he can just walk straight through. That's amazing. And in five minutes, Trevor's gonna be back up with a ton of gold and a ton of cash. Hey, what was that, Trevor? You know what? I'm going through. I need to know. Trevor, what happened down there? Are you okay? Is he good? Oh, no. This is the bank manager. This is the guy who gave us the jobs. We're so dead. Hey, I think he's trying to talk to me. Yo, you are dead. Oh, no, man. This guy is really trying to tell me I'm dead. Oh, clearly, I'm not the guy dead here, buddy. You are. All right, and Trevor just put you down. I can't believe he was down here. What was he doing? You know what? It's all right. We're down here. Let's just rob this bank and get the money and buy our stuff back, okay? We need the money. We need a card. That's actually great because we just took out the manager. And there we go. It's in. And just like that, the door's open. Hey, Michael, come on down here. We need extra hands. Hey, guys, I think it's payday. We'll get as much of this in our pockets as we can and then we'll get out of here. I just got 20 million bucks. Is everyone loaded? Ready to go? All right, good. We got the money on the table. Let's get out of here. We're $20 million. We'll be able to buy everything back. What we're gonna do is get out of the bank and leave without anyone noticing what we've done. I mean, even if they do, we'll lose the wanted level. We'll be okay. Oh, no. Hey, officers. Get on the ground now. The police caught us. Oh, man, we were so close. In this bag is all the money we ever needed, guys. And we had to get busted by a locked door. Somehow, we've ended up in a worse situation. Trevor, we're now homeless and we're in jail. At least before we had expensive suits and like $10,000, we could have at least eaten food. I can't be the only one in here. Yeah, there's a lot of prisoners in this jail. But where's Michael and where's Trevor? Let's take a look. I think I can see Michael up there. Yeah, that's definitely Michael. As for Trevor, that's him over there. Hey, Trevor, how are you doing? And why is he clapping as if he's celebrating this? He is the strangest person ever. Inmates, you're on toilet clean duty. Toilet clean duty? I don't like the sound of that. Oh my goodness. Now I really can't stay in here. Since it was a cleaner at the bank, they must think I can just clean things. If I have to clean the entire prison, and especially the toilets every single day, we're not gonna survive a week, Franklin. They haven't even flushed those two toilets. There's so much poop in there. I don't even know where to start cleaning. Do I go for the walls, or do I go for the middle, or do I go for that? Like, what do I do? There's so much. This is too overwhelming. This is too much. Franklin, Trevor, Michael, you have a guest. Whew, saved by the bell. Someone came to see us. Who do you reckon it is? Amanda, Lamar, Denise. Could be anyone, to be honest. Let's find out. Who is it, guys? Who is it? I need to know. Lester. 
I recognize that shirt anywhere. Hey, Lester, what do you want? Are you here to get us out? I have a very important job to do. <laughs> it's to laugh at you all. How do you get in here? <laughs> Wait, Lester, are you saying you just came here to laugh at us? You don't even have a way out or anything? Come on, that's so not fair. Please, Lester, there's got to be something we can do. You always have a plan. Wow, he really was quite mean to us. I wasn't expecting Lester to do that. It's the first time he's come to see us just to laugh. <sighs> it's pretty late at night. I've been thinking all day about how to get out of this place, but still nothing. It doesn't help that everyone's split up. What's Trevor doing? Hey, Trevor, what's going on over there? Hey, I need the toilet. You're too late. Oh, yeah? Am I too late for this? Yes. I'm out. <laughs> no way. Trevor just escaped from his cell, and everyone noticed, apart from the guard, who uh, is unfortunately on the floor. Trevor, that was insane. Now, can you get me out? Right, first of all, let's go and get Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. Oh, here he is. He's asleep. All right, let's open this door. Hey, Michael, wake up. Now I freed Michael. Let's go and free Franklin. And just a few things here and there, and you're out. Now, guys, follow me. Trevor knows exactly what he's doing, and I'm just letting him do it. Now Trevor's got the prison keys. We can literally walk straight out of here. We just got to make sure that nobody knows. Scissors. Come on, guys, follow me. Oh, dear. Okay, that's not good. There is an officer standing right outside the door. Except now it took out the guard. I got his pistol. <laughs> guys, follow me. I got a car. Excuse me, officers. Just got to get out of the prison. Excuse me. Can you open the gates? Come on. <laughs> yes, we escaped. And just like that, we're out of jail. Not a single one to level either. They didn't even notice. At least not yet. <laughs> we better get out of here quickly. Okay, guys, we can't stay like this forever. We need to ditch this car and find somewhere safe to sleep tonight. After all, we still don't have a... Uh, a home or anything. But now we're in Sandy Shores, we could probably find somewhere quiet. Somewhere out of the way to sleep for the night. Let's take a look. Do you have any idea, Trevor, where we can go? Trevor, you're the best. Thanks for getting us out of jail. Anyway, I'm pretty tired. I'll see you guys in the morning. Rise and shine, everybody. It's a new day and it's a new dawn. Hey, lazy pants, get up, guys. We got things to do. First of all, we need to find a new outfit. We can't go walking around like this. We look like a bunch of escaped prisoners. Well, we kind of are, but still, we can't be doing this. There is a clothes store in Sandy Shores, but it is kind of far away. And I can see someone still Standing next to what looks like a very nice car. Yo, that's a really nice ride, too. That's a rally car. All right, here we go. We'll just pretend like we're dressed up for Halloween. It is Halloween soon as well, so hello, mister. How are you doing? I would really like that car of yours. Whoopsie. All right, let's get him. Okay. He had a mobile phone on him, and he had this car as well. Well, looks like this car is now... No, it's locked. It's locked. Guys, we need to break in. Trevor, can you shoot the window, please? Nice one. Michael, you might have to break the window, too. This guy had it locked pretty bad. Now we've got a car. How much money are we going to get for selling this machine? Let's find out. Oh, boy. Don't crash into anyone. Here we go. The mechanic repair store. Excuse me, mister. I would really like to sell my car. How much money can we get for it? $50,000. That's amazing. I just made $50,000. And with that kind of money, we can buy some new clothes and find a new job. Only this time, we're not going to get arrested. Now, let's see. Uh, discount store. Perfect. We are in Sandy Shores, too. It's a little bit quieter up here. <laughs> you know, not the city life and not loads of police around. Excuse me, ma'am. What do you think of my Halloween outfit? Yeah, she doesn't seem to get. This is what Michael's going for. Something casual. And this is what Trevor's gone for. Now we actually look like normal people. Look at us, eh? Check it out. Brand new clothes. I think we look pretty good. Now, let's go and find a job. We found a job. Working for a scrapyard mechanic. It's pretty simple. We get these cars, you know. They've usually been flattened and squished and basically obliterated and we have to somehow restore them and Michael is currently taking off a tire but there's so many cars to go through and every single car we fix we get ten thousand dollars which isn't like so much money but you know it will get there I mean give us a few weeks and we'll have our money back in no time hey who's this guy uh, do you know him Mr. Owner who's this guy huh oh I lost my car inside is a very important personal item return the ride to me and I'll pay each of you one hundred thousand dollars whoa a hundred thousand dollars just for returning his car. I can't really turn that down. Come on, guys. We've got a job to do. And if we find this right, we'll get three hundred thousand dollars. That's 30 cars. Hey, guys, get down. Get down. The car is in that barn over there. So someone is standing on the top floor of the barn. It's as if they're on guard. Let's keep our distance for now. We don't want any trouble. There's two of them. What? Four? Oh, my days. There's quite a few of these guys now. Let's just wait until we get eyes on the car. Is it definitely in there? Oh, yeah. That's 100% in 
in there. Get them, Franklin. Come on, come on. We've almost got them. Yes, that was too easy. Wait a second. I think there's still one more person here. Trevor, move out the way. I will shoot you if you're there. I just want this car. And then we'll be out of your hair. Come on, man. You could have run. Well, that's kind of their fault. This is the ride. Hope it doesn't mind about the smash window. It's a really nice car. It's pure gold and it's a dubster. I haven't driven one of these in years. I wonder what the personal item is. I mean, as far as things go, can you see anything? Like, anything interesting? Nope, nope. All right, neither. No, I can't see anything either. It must be inside the car or maybe this car is... Oh, jeez. All right, I really hope it's not the personal item. <laughs> okay, well, let's just keep this steady. Get back to the scrapyard and keep our fingers crossed that he gives us the 300,000 big ones. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba. Look who got the ride, buddy. It's, uh... Yeah, it came like this. This is exactly how we found it. I'm impressed. Here's your money. Wow, I impressed him. I didn't think that would impress him. I ruined the car. I wonder what that item was. Anyway, check it out. Look what I got. A lot of cash. Oh, yeah. We got money. Amazing. And $100,000 each. That means we're 200000 away from buying our cars back. The cars that actually cost money. It's Franklin and Michael. And then Travis is like a piece of rusty metal. But we'll talk about that another time. Hey, that's some really good work you did. Thanks, man. I mean, we were just working for that guy. I mean, he offered us a lot of money. There's two super guys in the desert. They're ruined and wrecked and crashed. If you return them to me, I give you $200,000 each. $200,000 each? That means we'll have made $900,000. This is great. We're going to be recovering ruined supercars. And then we take them back and restore them and then give them to the guy. And he gives us a ton of money for them. This couldn't have been any more ideal. This is the perfect job. Michael, your job is to repair the cars. Me and Trevor are going to bring them to you. Keep your eyes peeled, Trevor. We're looking for a ride, which may have crashed recently. That looks like the one. All right, let's get a closer look. Yep, that's a supercar. That's for sure. Hey, I'm going to jump out. Let's just quickly take a look at this machine. There is only one way to find out what car this is, and that is by repairing this ride. Come on, Trevor. We're gonna hook this on the back of our truck and bring it straight to Michael. Steady, steady, and we're on. Perfect. Right, let's take this to Michael. Do you wanna make some guesses on what kind of car we got? I mean, I know for sure it's not a Bugatti. Bugattis just don't look like that. It's either a Lamborghini, or it could be maybe a Porsche? Hey, Michael, we got the first car. I'll leave it here for you. You can repair this, and when we come back, I really wanna know what it is. You better do it quickly. Oh, dear. This one's really bad. It's on fire and in the water. This must have happened pretty recently. Like, I'm thinking the last five minutes, is that someone in the water? I have no idea. You know what? It's not my responsibility. I gotta be careful. It doesn't set this vehicle on fire. Nudge. Oh, no, there's a fireman. Hey, buddy, please get out of here. I'm taking this car for myself. Come on, I told you to go. All right, flip the car, flip the car. Oh, my goodness. It's so difficult to flip. Bring it down and let's get going. Awesome. Hey, Trevor, isn't your trailer around here somewhere? No way. He's done it. Michael, that is the coolest restaurant restoration ever. Let me take a look at that car. I love the paint job on it. That green is so, so beautiful. You don't get many greens like that on cars. That is a beautiful green. Michael, you've done a really good job of this. Now, can you please restore this one so we can get paid? Voila, both cars restored. On the right of me, I got the Ignis, and on the left of me is the X80 Proto. Both of these rides combined are worth millions of dollars. I can't believe we restored both of them. And uh, as for the deal, you owe us 600,000. Ka-ching, ka-ching, another water cap. Guys, this is working so well. We have $900,000, which means we've done something. We bought our cars. Trevor's got his, I got mine, and Michael's got his. Now, all we need is $1.6 million to buy our houses, and then another $5 million to still get our family and shop back. Oh, dear. How are we going to do that? <laughs> The radio? Why is the radio playing? Dangerous suspects in Sandy Shores wearing military uniform. $1.1 million bounty reward to anyone who can capture him. $1.1 million reward to anyone who can capture this suspect? Hey, guys, we're gonna get moving. There is someone in Sandy Shores who can literally make us millionaires. Michael has searched the entire town and hasn't found anything. And I don't even know where Trevor's gone. I can't see his car anywhere. But I have found this little hole under the train track and I can see a shelter, and someone wearing a military uniform. No way! Hey, Michael, I think I might have found him. Excuse me, mister, are you the uh, person police are looking for? Uh-oh, he definitely is the guy. He's the person. I found him. Hey, mister, it's okay. No one's gonna hurt you. I just want to be your friend. See? Friends! Friends! <laughs> He didn't even want to shoot me in the first place. Well, here we go. I got him. Now let's get the police over. Oh, wait. I forgot. I traded my phone in. I sold that as well. All I have is his water cash. Officers, your suspect is there. Now, as promised, 
We need that reward. You have real talent. Thanks a bunch. We've now made one and a half million dollars, which means we're 500,000 away from getting our houses back and not being homeless again. Hey, what does this guy want again? I thought we got him his car. He better not be asking for his money back. Hey, mister, why are you back here? My son, he's in trouble. Can you help him out? I pay you five million bucks. Wait a second. You'll pay us five million dollars just for helping your son? His son is in a police convoy and we have to break him out. They're going pretty fast. I don't know how we're going to do this easily. Use the minigun. Come on. Come on. Nice. Oh, no. The convoy is still going, though. Okay, we better get this car, Franklin. Come on. We're going to go and get them. They're going so fast. We're going to lose them at this rate. I think they went up here on this highway. They must be going to Los Santos. Maybe they're taking him to the jail instead. A police station. Wait, what are they doing now? No, they're not trying to shake me. Why are they trying to loop around to the prison? I don't know. I don't care. We got to get him out. Excuse me. Get off the road. Yes. Yes. Now's my chance. Keep him there. Keep him there. Hey, man, give it up. We need the car. Now is my chance. Don't even think about moving. Get him, Franklin. Get him. Oh, this thing is so armored. No way is he still alive. He's still driving. Are you serious? All right, that's it. We're going for the tires. Come on, man. Give it up. There's no escape. Get the tires, Franklin. Get the tires. There is no way he's still alive now. Get out of the car, man. Don't make me ask again, because I will. Oh, my days. I'm flipping the car. We're flipping the thing. All right, get closer and closer and get inside now. That's what you get, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Is the prisoner inside? Yes, he is! Hey, buddy, I'm taking you back to your dad. He must be a very important person to be broken out of jail like this. Once I return him and get paid, we'll be able to buy our houses again, and I will never have to see Michael and Trevor again. Anyway, mister, I got your son. I think he's in one piece. How about you come out and uh, say hello? <laughs> oh, no, he's really angry at him. <laughs> hey, man, listen, you can be angry all you like, but I need my money. Hey, guys, check it out. We can finally buy our houses back. And now we're only 500,000 away from getting our families and shop. I finally have my own home. Oh, this is beautiful. And there's quite a bit of mail on the ground too. Oh, I may as well give it a read. Meet me at the docks. 5 p.m. Wednesday. That's today. And that's only in a few hours. What could Lamar want with us? Hey, Franklin, I don't think we're going to be hanging here too long. Let's go and meet Lamar now. If Lamar has a way I can make $500,000 so I can finally get shot back, then I will be so, so happy. Please. There he is. Lamar, I came as fast as I could. What's happening at the docks? And why are we standing next to some containers, huh? In these containers is a bunch of money. I just don't know which one it is. No way. We're opening containers with him. And in one of them, or maybe two or three, I don't know, is some money. Which one do we open first? You know what, guys? I'm gonna go straight to the middle. Let's go with this one. And this has a bunch of bikes inside. That's pretty cool, but it's not quite the money Lamar promised. Ah, only one bike this time. All right, still not the money we promised. Okay, maybe we're getting colder. What if we go this way? Oh, now we're talking. I just got two supercars. Now, if that's not half a million dollars, I don't know what is. Okay, may as well keep opening them. What about this one then? <gasps> no way. No way. He wasn't joking. There is a ton of cash in here. Check it out. There is so much in here. Oh, my days. No way. There's even more cash. So much of it. This is easily going to give us half a million dollars. We must have made tens of millions. Lamar, you're a lifesaver. You've just got my life back on track and made it even better. Are you ready for this? I've got my supercars. I've got my house. And let's see if Chop is down there. Hey, Chop, look who managed to get you back. No way. There he is. I missed you so much, boy. Everything you could imagine costs $7 for today and today only in GTA 5. And we are a very happy person because Franklin here actually has money. That's right. We have $20 in our bank account, which means I can buy two of anything I want. But wait, what's this? Hang on a second. If I buy three of these vehicles, I get to unlock a secret secret rare car website. That sounds exciting. We only have $20, which means if I need to buy three vehicles, I need to find one more dollar. Right, before we buy anything, let's take a look around this house. I will turn this place upside down in order to find this one dollar. There's got to be a dollar around here somewhere. I mean, you guys leave dollars everywhere. Your coat pocket, under your sofa, even down the drain. You'll never guess something. I found a dollar in the most bizarre place last time, behind the toilet. I mean, that was a pretty gross dollar. Guys, I got an idea. If you press like on this video, then that's going to give me all the good luck I need to find this $1. And rumor has it, if this episode gets 50,000 likes, the like button will actually turn gold. Let me know if it does. Wait, hang on a second. What does this note say? Subscribe for $1? Well, you read the note. Subscribe and help us get that $1. We got the dollar. In that case, we're able to buy three of these vehicles and unlock the super rare car website. I'm so excited. Oh, decisions, decisions. We could go for any of these, but I'm I'm going to 
go with the most expensive first, which somehow still costs $7. Let's get this one, this one, and this one. Oh my days, I've just unlocked the secret rare car website. Have you seen some of these vehicles? Whoa, I need to make some money. They look insane. There's gotta be a way we can make money around here. I mean, Simeon's always offering me jobs. Lamar, what do you want? Yo, Frank, meet me in five minutes. That's not long, Ashley. We better get moving. I wonder what Lamar wants me to do. This is really strange. He hardly ever calls me. Hang on a second. If I meet Lamar, does this mean he's gonna pay me something? Oh, he better. If he doesn't, I'm gonna make sure I get my money one way or another. <laughs> Looks like we got our first job. Let's see what Lamar wants me to do. So this is where Lamar wants me to go to. Are you sure this is the place, Lamar? Yeah, this is it. Be careful. All right, Lamar. Be careful. Oh, my days. There's a lot of people there. I have a feeling they're not so friendly. <laughs> That's Denise, and she needs rescuing. I wonder why they've got her captured. Oh my days, they're shooting us, they're shooting us! Come on, Lamar, we can do this, we need to protect Denise! Oh boy, there's so many of them. Frankly, get out of the car, we're gonna take this as cover. Okay, this is a bit more tricky than I anticipated. There's so many of them! Uh-oh, they just blew up my car. Quick, we better find more cover. This will do perfectly. Okay, let's see, there's someone over there. I see you, buddy! Oh no, you don't! How dare they take Denise? I wonder what they want with her. Okay, this is good. We found some pretty good cover, Franklin. I think everyone is finally down. Somebody's still alive. I can see them. I can hear them. Don't worry. I'm here. Hang on a second. There's still someone here. Okay, now I'm here. Denise, you can get up. You're safe now. Thank you. How can I repay you? Well, you could always give me some money, Denise. I mean, that that's what I'm after, really. Everything costs $7, you know, and this was quite a job. <laughs> $14? Amazing. I can buy two of those secret rare cars. Oh, no, guys. I don't think Lamar made it. Well, get home safe, Denise. I'm gonna go and spend your money. $14. That means we can buy two of any of those rare cars I want. <laughs> oh, there's so many to choose from. I don't even know which ones to go for first. Okay, which ones would you go for? I, I, I gotta get this one. This one looks so nice. And that one. Hang on. There's another pop-up. Buy five cars and I unlock a police supercar website? Okay, I need to find a way to purchase three more of those cars. But first, I want to see what's turned up in my driveway. After all, I have just purchased some super rare cars and I can't wait to see what they are. These look amazing, Franklin. Oh my days, I can't way to drive these. Check this one. <laughs> this is a Zonda. One of the most expensive cars in the universe. And I've got it in a golden livery paint shop design. Those seats are pure designer. Wow. And this is a Mercedes Vision GT. Not even yet released. Not on the streets. But I'm driving it today. I mean, this is kind of nice to be honest, but the golden one looks so beautiful. Hey guys, you know what? I'm gonna come back for the golden one for now. I'm gonna drive this one on the streets. Who's this guy? Uh, hello? What are you you want. Hey, I love your car. Give me a chance to win it. To win it, you say? Speak more, buddy. I mean, I'm not a fan of giving my cars away, but what do I get if I win? If you win, I'll give you 20 bucks. That can go a long way in today's market. So if I beat this guy whose number plate says too fast for you, then I get 20 bucks. If I lose, he gets my car. You know what, buddy? You got yourself a deal. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. This guy's getting smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! I can't hear you all the way at the back. Oh, we got this one so in the back. I thought he was gonna win for a second, but no. Straight across the line. That was too easy, man. What were you thinking? Where do you think you're going to, huh? <laughs> Come on, give me my 20 bucks. This can't be here. Take the money and go. Thanks, man. I just won $20, which means I can buy two more super rare cars. So check it out. These are my two lovely cars, the Tesla Roadster and, of course, my lovely Corvette. Oh, it's just a beautiful car. I gotta drive this one now. We gotta take it out the drive. But I'm only $1 away from unlocking the super rare police car website, which shouldn't be too tricky to find. I just need to think of a very simple way to make a little bit of money. <laughs> Simeon, what does he want? Yo, swing by my store. I got a job for you. Pays well. Well, I'm at Simeon's store, and it looks pretty empty to me. Doesn't seem like he's selling any cars today. Hey, let's take a look inside, Franklin. Whoa, this is a beast. I can't buy this online. How much for this car? I mean, duh. <laughs> That's a bit of a stupid question. For today and today only, it costs $7. It's just a shame I'm, you know, $1 short. But I would love to buy this. It's a Mustang. Wow, this is a supercharged Mustang with some of the biggest subwoofers I've ever seen around the back. Hang on just a second. You can't buy that car from me. It's not for sale. But I might reconsider my mind if you do this job for me. Oh, you pull a hard bargain, Simeon. So you're not gonna let me, like, you know, do an IOU 
you casually? <laughs> Come on, Simeon, I love that car. No IOUs. Now, do you want to do this job for me or not? Yes, Simeon, I do want to do this job for you. And then maybe I'll buy that car. The location isn't too far away. It is just up this hill and... Oh, this is Michael's house. What am I doing here, huh? Looks like someone in this house owes Simeon a car. Well, I'm leaving my ride outside. I don't want Michael getting any funny ideas and stealing my Corvette. That car is too nice for Michael. He doesn't deserve stuff like that. Is it my lucky day? Will the door open for me? No, it won't. Looks like we better spy through the windows. Oh, yeah. I can see their car. That is definitely the car Simeon asked me to get. Franklin, we better think of some good ideas right now because I don't think we can just walk straight through the doors. It wouldn't be that stupid to leave the doors unlocked. I mean, come on. <laughs> It doesn't even look like anyone's in. They just... All right, that was super easy and simple then. All right, I'm inside. This is a very beautiful ride. It's a Spectre Custom. Whoa, I love these green roller things. So this is if it shakes too much. You know, you got these foam pads just in case you hit your head. But let's get out of the garage and drive this home. Simeon is going to be the happiest man in the world when he finds out I've returned this ride scratch free. Apart from that scratch, that wasn't me. That, that, that definitely was not me. Couldn't have been me. I'm the best driver in the universe. Oh, Simeon. Didn't even have to give me 10 minutes and I got the car for you, buddy. Now, how about... You cough up some money and pay me what's fair. After all, I collected a, what well, looks like a million dollar car for you. That's great. Take this money. You deserve it. That means I have $26 in my bank account, which you know what that means. I can buy three lovely cars. Simeon, I would love to buy that, you know, Mustang in the corner. Please let me buy that car from you. No, you'll have to come back later. Maybe I'll change my mind. Later? Oh, you're so boring, Simeon. Well, I gotta wait until I buy this car, but don't you worry guys. I will buy this one eventually. I just can't wait to own this ride. Have you seen the amount of features on the inside? I'm sure we'll get over it, Franklin, because we're about to buy some of the craziest cars you've ever seen. Because once I buy one more of those rare cars, I get to unlock a police supercar website. Decisions, decisions. I think I'll go for this one. And I've now unlocked the police supercar website. Oh my days. Which ones do I want to buy, Franklin? We can literally become a police officer in the fastest car in the universe. I can buy any two of them. And then I gotta find another way to make some money. Well, it should be an easy choice. I'm gonna go for the two best looking police cars. Excuse me, ladies. Did nobody tell you that smoking is bad? That's right. Put the cigarette down. I get to drive around like a police officer. And I'm not even a police officer. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. All right, you see this guy driving behind me and his... Whoa, that was so close. I almost had him. Look at this guy. He actually thinks I'm a police officer. Hey, get out of the car. Oh, it looks like we got some chicken playing right now. Well, in that case, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I can screw with whoever I want to, like this guy. Hey, man, did somebody tell you you're walking suspiciously quickly? Wait, what's this? The radio's turning on. Guys, I can hear the police radio. <gasps> what are they saying? Calling all units. Calling all units. Most wanted target. Last located in the dockyard. Find the target and be rewarded $50. Guys, there is a most wanted suspect in the dockyard. And because I got the police radio, I can hear all of these calls. Amazing. We better get there quickly, because once I find this suspect, I'm gonna make a lot of money. $50? That's gonna be the most money I will have made all day. This is where the target was last seen, and I'm gonna do everything I can to find him. This is a really big place, though. I don't know how we're gonna do this by ourselves. Hmm, if I was a most wanted suspect, where would I hide? It wouldn't be in the road. I would be somewhere off the beaten track. Hang on a second. There's some people over here. Maybe they can give me some answers. Hey, excuse me, friends. Have you seen uh, anyone in a orange jumpsuit who looks mighty suspicious and could, you know, be running from the law. Come to think of it, I have. Suspect went running down the post office warehouse, just down south to the right. The post office, he says? Alright, looks like there's a warehouse down south. Is this the warehouse? I mean, that one's locked. I don't think I can go in there. What about in here? Bug stars? In a second, this looks interesting. Walker's Logistics. There's a couple of warehouses down here. I found the post office truck. That means this must be their warehouse. House. There is someone in there. Hey, excuse me. You got the whole town looking for you. If I were you, I would give it up. Don't make me do this, because I will. I'm not afraid to take you down. I just want the $50. You don't understand. I was framed. This life was never meant for me. If you take me out now, you'll never know the truth. Oh, jeez, what do you do that for? Ugh, I was telling you the truth. Yeah, I don't care the truth, buddy. I just want to get that $50. And last time I checked, you're the most wanted suspect. Right, let's call in the other units. I want them to know that I was the guy who found him. Afternoon, officers. As you can see, I got your target. Now, about the money. Very impressive. 
I haven't seen you on the force before. But here you go. Have 50 bucks. Thanks, man. I just got $50. And you know what that means. I get to buy so many more things. Let's do a quick check. I got $55 in the bank account. And there's quite a few police cars left to purchase. I'll get that one, that one, that one. And I've unlocked another website. No way. I've unlocked the Lamborghini website. <laughs> What? And if I buy 10 Lamborghinis, I get to unlock a luxury yacht website. What? <laughs> I've just bought four of the nicest looking Lamborghinis. And I'm about to go home and check them out. But now I've got $6 left. And once I buy six more Lamborghinis, I get to buy some luxury yachts. They should have arrived by now. Let's check out my Lamborghinis. Wow, these are amazing. Wait, hang on a second. This is my entire collection. <laughs> Whoa. I bought every single one of these cars today. So I think I'll just leave leave my Lamborghini over here, actually. I want to check out some of my beautiful rides. Wait, what's going on with the radio? Target confirmed. Michael De Santa going on a rampage. First to find him gets rewarded 20 bucks. Michael De Santa? I wonder what he's doing. Well, we'll go and find him later on, guys. But I want to check out my amazing collection so far. And we still have six more Lamborghinis to buy before we can add some luxury yachts to this. Uh-oh. Guys, it's Michael De Santa. Well, what a big coincidence. Hey, Michael, the police are looking for you everywhere. I would know, because I got some lovely police cars back there. Hey, what, what's so? What's what's going on in your nerves, Michael? Uh, do you have any jobs for me? I, I just need to make some money. Oh, I got a job for you. How about you return my son's car, which you stole from him? Michael, you know Simeon. Simeon needed that car back. I really need to make some money, so come here, Michael. I just want to give you a hug. One step closer, and I'm shooting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh Okay, okay, Michael. Okay, that's cool. I won't, I won't take another step closer. Oh, boy, guys, this is really awkward. <laughs> I need to make this money. There is a $20 bounty on him, remember? Hmm, let's see. Three, two, one. I'm sorry, Michael. I need the money. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Michael, listen to me. I don't want to hurt you. I just need the money. Okay, I'm going to call in on the radio. I'm going to tell him you're here, and I'm going to get my 20 bucks, okay? All units, I found Michael de Santa. Target neutralized. Smashing job, son. Here's your 20 bucks. Go spend it wisely. Why, thank you very much, officer. I think I will. And I'm, I think I'll take one of my brand new supercars, actually, too. I think I'll go for this one. <laughs> Hang on a second, though, guys. I got a Hummer. I, I want to drive the Hummer. This is amazing. It's a Hummer. Well, now i got $26. We can buy three more Lamborghinis. And that's left me with $5 in the bank account and three more Lamborghinis to buy until I can buy those luxury super yachts. Oh, all I need to do now is wait for another job to come my way. They seem to come at really convenient times. I'm not seeing no phone call, Franklin. Well, we'll try this again. I said, I need another job. I need to make some money. Does anyone have a job for me? Seriously? No one? Oh, man, I gotta find money myself. Fine, I will do that. I got a really cool idea, actually. You won't believe this idea. It's so good. Can I walk your dog? I just want $7. All right, little guy. I've got you for the next half an hour. Don't do anything stupid, okay? I'll be back in 30 minutes. So I get paid $7 if I walk the dog successfully. Where do you want to go to, buddy? What's, uh... <laughs> What's your name? Oh, you're a slow walker. Oh, no, guys, he's trying his best. Waggling that tail of his. Look at those paws, they're tiny. Right, we're gonna go on an adventure, me and you. I'm taking you down here. I bet you haven't been down here before. Your dog was a superstar. Here you go. Thanks for letting me walk him. And I just got $9. Whoa, she tipped me $2. I got $9 for walking a dog for half an hour. That is amazing, which means I have $14, which means I can buy two more Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis ordered. Now, let's go and check them out. Out. Oh, man. Simeon, what do you want, buddy? Yo, swing by my store. I got another job for you. Another job, he says. Well, if this gets me one step closer to buying that Ford Mustang in his store, then count me in, Simeon. Let's go and see what he wants me to do. Go collect the ride for me. It's located over here. Thanks, Simeon. I'll be there in no time. I can see the ride, and this looks like a very easy collection. I don't see anyone around to stop me. Nice. They must be inside the store. Oh, what do you think you're doing, huh? Trying to cut me off? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Franklin, we'll wait for her to move. Can't allow for any witnesses, you know. Afternoon, man. What a lovely day it is today. Now, you go and do your shopping, okay? I'm just gonna break into this car. Oh, it was open. Wow, this person really wants it stolen. <laughs> well, in that case, I think we'll just drive out of here and go. <laughs> I got the car. That was so easy, Simeon. wonder how much he's going to pay me for this. Simeon, I got your car, and it's in mint condition. It's still shiny and sparkly. Now, that deserves a tip, right? Tips? I don't do tips. Take your money. This is your...
your pay. Wow, you really are a tough cookie, Simeon. Doesn't do tips, doesn't do acts of kindness, but I still made $14 from him, which means I'm able to buy the Lamborghini and a Mustang. Can I buy the Mustang, Simeon? Please, please, please. Yes, thanks, Simeon. I'm finally able to buy this car. <laughs> it's a supercharged Mustang. I gotta play those speakers, guys, especially in Simeon. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, oh yeah, Simeon, what do you think of my amazing music day? Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, whatever, Simeon, you're such a spoiled sport. Why can't you just have a little bit of fun? Well, now I've bought the Mustang, I'm gonna buy my Lamborghini. Here goes nothing, and there is the luxury super yacht site. There's four different boats I can buy, from small ones, to the bat boats, to two luxury yachts. And once I do, hang on a second, I get to unlock the mega mansion. Oh my days, that's gotta be the final tier. That's gotta be it. All right, I need to find a way to make $28. No, scratch that, $35. Because once I do, I can buy everything. Now, how are we gonna make that money? Speeding around like Santos isn't gonna do us any favors. Although this is a very pretty car. And Trevor, hang on a second. I hardly get any phone calls from Trevor. I wonder what he wants today. Hey, I got a job for you. Swing by my place. Count me in, Trevor. I'll be there in just a minute. Now I'm in my brand new Ford Mustang. Hey, Trevor, what's with the big truck over there? What are you planning? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Franklin. Hey, Trevor. Do you mind not playing guitar? I'm on a really busy schedule because by the end of the day, prices go back to normal. What is this job and why is there a giant tanker here? You distract the, uh, the oil refinery, guys. Will I siphon all of that oil? I'll pay you a lot of money. I mean, oil's worth a lot of money, right? Yes, it is, Trevor. And you know what? You can count me in on this job. I have a feeling he's gonna pay me a lot of money for doing this. <laughs> Trevor, you got yourself a deal. Don't worry. I know just how to distract them. Hey, what do you think of my amazing car, guys? <laughs> what is this guy doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing donuts. Who wants a donut? <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't know, but this is entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the post, Franklin. Hey, we better play some music. Hey, guys, the party's on me. <laughs> yes, there he is. Can you see him? He's already taking some of that oil. Go on, Trevor, go. There's the crowd. I can't afford for them to turn around. Hey, guys, are you ready to party or what? Well, Trevor, a deal's a deal. How much are you gonna pay me? I mean, you must have filled that entire tank with oil, which has got to be worth a lot of money. You did well today. Yeah, take 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Oh, my days. That means I can buy literally everything. Thing. We better get spending, Franklin. This day is almost over. Now this is a machine. This is a boat which belongs to Batman. And it's kind of bouncy, to be honest. I don't think this is uh, saleable right now. <laughs> we'll leave the bad boat for now. This thing is really tricky to sail. I want to sail one of my luxury yachts. This is just one of them. Underneath is sort of like a space which hasn't quite been used yet. This is one of my super yachts. In case you couldn't tell, I got another one right over there. But I think you guys want to see my brand new house. I want to see it as well. I haven't quite seen the house yet, but I know all of my cars are waiting for me outside the house. So let's go and check it out and I'll leave this yacht for now. So I'm going to take this way in through the gates and up the driveway. This is a very long driveway. <laughs> I can't wait to check this place out. This house is now mine for $7. Hey, Franklin, we're never going back home again. Ring shop will go in here. So these must be some of my Lamborghinis, the ones I bought earlier. Wow, dude, this is one of the rarest ones in the world. All right, I'm going to go in the garage next and check out my other cars which are like in my garage <laughs> hey i think we're missing a few there's got to be a few more dotted around this house there's an infinity pool going straight down to the edge of my house and that's where my helipad is hmm, we better buy a helicopter soon franklin by the end of the day you know now we have all this money there's a bar out there a barbecue oh man i wish i had a barbecue this is amazing so this is the upstairs golden records you know we're a massive fan gotta have the best of the best and through here is ooh, Ooh, check this out. This is just like a bathroom. Kind of a strange bathroom to me. There is a secret base worth $10 billion I could build under Michael's house. So it doesn't really give too much information away apart from build epic underground base. 100,000 square foot. That's huge. <laughs> It's gonna be massive, dude. All right, you know what, Michael? Just buy this base. I wanted to wait until you guys are watching so we can actually check out this base together. Wait a second, someone's at my door. I just bought the base. No way could anyone be at my door in this amount of time. Wow, you guys are impressive. Well, I suppose that's what happens when you spend $10 billion on something. We're here to build your base, but first, you need 10 subscribers for us to work. 10 subscribers? What do you mean? Oh no, guys, it says in the corner again. I need 10 of you guys to subscribe to my channel, and then these guys will build 
build this base. I don't see any subscribers. You got 20 seconds, okay? And then we're leaving. 20 seconds? I just gave you $10 million. Please don't screw me over. Can you please subscribe to the channel? Just press the button right now and let these guys do their job. Hang on, it's working. Yes. Nine, seven. Yes, it's going down. Oh, amazing. We just got 10 subscribers. We smashed that. Come back in three hours. It'll be done then. Three hours? Wow, you guys are really working fast. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for subscribing and saving the day. But now I got three hours to do whatever I want. I'm already in my suit. Oh, that's giving me a really good idea. I just bought a really nice car from Simeon, and I'm going to go and collect it. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. It's a seriously nice ride. Come on, Michael. Let's go and get this car. Oh, wait, Jimmy. What are you doing in the road? Oh, don't go near the house, by the way. It's going to be a pretty big work site. Wow, that was a big explosion. I really hope they don't destroy my house. There's my ride. There's my ride. No way. It is ready. <laughs> Yo, Simeon, I'm here to get my car. It's already paid for, so don't even think about asking me for money. I know, I know it's paid for. Who do you think I am? I do my paperwork, too. Here's your car. Enjoy. Yeah, whatever, Simeon. I just know you can't really be trusted. But check this out, guys. This is the car I bought literally two weeks ago. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. It is without a doubt the fastest supercar money can buy. I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm not making up the stats here. This is insane. It doesn't even have a name, so I'm gonna let you guys decide what it is. Let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, there's a clue. Well, now I've got my supercar. I still have a few more hours to do some stuff. Hmm, let's see. Why don't I just take this for a drive? Yeah, test drive around like Santa. Let's see how fast this thing can actually go. Oh, wait, Franklin's calling me. I wonder what Franklin wants to do today. Hey, Franklin, what's up? One million bucks golf. What do you say? One million bucks golf. Hey, Franklin, I think you're crazy. That's what I say. But uh, you can count me in. Wow, Franklin really wants to have a million dollar game of golf? Well, um, I suppose it's a bad time to tell him that I have no money to bet. I've got the boys rounded up and Trevor's joining in too. We're all having a million dollar game of golf. Okay, all right, 104% on the strength. Let's see where that's going to. That's not bad. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Trevor. Franklin, try and beat that one. 246 yards? What's that, Trevor? What was that? 100% strength? We're stronger than you. How does he do that, Trevor? 260 yards? So not cool. Wow, Trevor's stronger than Michael. I had no idea. And Franklin's coming in. Oh my days, dude. This is actually going to be tricky. Everyone got a pretty decent shot in. Okay. Franklin's at the back right now. That was a good one. Oh my days, dude. This is going to be really tricky. Oh, he's almost in the sand pit, though. <laughs> All right, let's do this, Michael. Let's maximize that strength. 208 yards. That's a perfect shot right there. I'm happy with that one. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh, another perfect hit. Hey, Franklin. Hey, Trevor. You're so going down. This is so stressful, dude. I don't want to screw this up. I think if we go like... Oh, jeez, dude. This is so tense. I'm going to go here. Nice, nice, nice. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Trevor's still ahead, though. Oh, jeez. He's still ahead. And Franklin, how's it looking with him? Oh, jeez. Michael, we can't afford to miss this one, okay? Here we go. Oh, that was too short. Oh, no. If Trevor gets this in, we've lost. And somehow, i got to pay him half a million bucks. How am I going to do that? we got it on par. All right, Franklin, don't get in. Don't even think about getting in. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh that was so close. <laughs> this is so tense. It all comes down to Trevor now. Don't, don't. No. <laughs> I'm gonna somehow give Trevor half a million dollars. How am I gonna do this, dude? Take my car, it's yours. The only thing I can give you. I'm sure this is worth more than half a million. I paid so much money for this. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna go back to my house now and check out my amazing bunker. That's so annoying, dude. I really wanted a nice car for the bunker. Well, it's been a few hours. Let's go and check out my bunker. Hopefully that will cheer me up. Wait a second, guys. I thought the bunker would be done by now. This doesn't look done for me. There's bricks everywhere. There's debris. There's still drilling. I've given you guys so much time. I played an entire game of golf and got a nice car today, which I then lost. Now, you guys better give me some good information. Where's the base? The base is late. It's gonna take a month. A month? No. No, that's not what we agreed. You said a few hours. Something else came up. You're not my only priority, you know. Oh, you. You. I paid you $10 billion. How can I not be your only priority? That's a lot of money, dude. There is one way, but it costs $10 million. And it's off the record. Seriously? You're trying to get more money out of me? Bro, I paid you every single penny I have. But if I have $10 million, I get to pay him to make the base. How quickly? Immediately. You give us the $10 million, the bam, the base is there like magic. Immediately? What? And you can't just do that now? Sorry, man. My hands are tied. Oh, yeah. Whatever, dude. That's what they say when they're not actually tied. So he's trying to get $10 million from me, which is great. If I had the money, and I just gave away my only valuable item to Trevor, which would have got me a little bit close to $10 million. Oh, this is really annoying. 
annoying. Why'd I have to lose that game of golf? Okay, stink, Michael. Stink, stink, stink. Hey, Simeon, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a pickle right now. My boy, this is a dream come true. I have a job and it pays big just for you. How would you like to take it on, huh? Okay, looks like we're meeting Simeon at his store. We're doing a job that pays big. You just hold on to that offer, buddy. I will come back with the $10 million, whether it's the last thing I do. You wanted me, Simeon? Something about a job? Well, I'm here and I'm all yours. What kind of job is this? What happened to your car? I thought you loved that ride. You were waiting so long. Don't ask questions about my car, all right? I lost it, okay, Simeon? I lost the car. Now tell me, what's this job? This job? Oh, yes. Pays $10 million. I just need a car collecting. Can you do it? Yes, of course I can, Simeon. It pays $10 million. That's exactly what I need. It's like you knew I needed this much money. Wonderful. There's one problem, no? I don't know exactly where the car is, okay? I know the general location. It was last seen here. Just search the area and find the car. It looks like this. Okay, I won't let you down. Thanks very much. We're looking for a ride in a general area. This is where the photo was taken. Right on this road. And around this area is where the car is. It's not on the golf course, is it? That would be a massive coincidence. Hey, Michael, just grab this ride, okay? That would be so helpful if it was in the car park of the golf course. They were on this road. Are there any turnings? I suppose they could have gone into this driveway. Oh, nothing. Oh, hang on a second. What's down there? Is that a garage? Is that a... No, it's not. No, okay. It's not here, guys. It's not in this driveway. But there is this road, which goes off the side of that one. And down this road takes you to a cul-de-sac. Yes, a dead end. And inside this cul-de-sac has got to be the car. It's got to be. Look at that balcony. I don't see the car, though. The car isn't in here. Okay, maybe it's in the house next door. There's quite a few nice houses around here. It's the kind of place they would own a $10 million car. Like this one. Hello, is the red thing in here? Oh, man, nothing. Where's this ride? This is useless. I've checked so many houses already and I still haven't found the car. Let's see. Are there any other streets? There's this one. All right. Maybe this street could be the one. Okay. Let's just go down here. Nice little drive. No way. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I got the ride. This is definitely the one Simeon wants me to get. I saw it in the photo. Let's park this up. Oh, my days, dude. There's a guard. Now he's walking around. Dude, I think he's looking right at me. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, jeez. He's trying to fight me. Oh, no. All right, run, Michael. Run, run, run. He knows I'm not meant to be here. All right, let's get in the ride. It's Bugatti. No way. Get in, Michael. What are you doing? Get in. Get in. Get in the car. Get in. Oh, jeez. The garden is chasing me. Michael, get in the car. What are you doing? Finally, I'm in the car. Go, 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 quick. The garden's gonna pull me out, dude. All right, nice, nice. Backing out. Jeez, just leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. Come on. I just want to return this ride to Simeon. Okay, let's take this ride to Simeon. Dan, don't crash this thing. Oh, my days. It's so difficult to drive. It's just too fast. But I think I got it going. Now we're picking up some speed and we're cruising smooth sailing through Los Santos. Let's go. Well, I believe this is the Bugatti LA Voyager Noir, one of the most expensive cars money can buy. The Simulon's gonna sell this for more than $10 million, believe it or not. That's how much this car's worth. It's worth like 20 million bucks. <sighs> okay, nice. I got the car for you, Simeon. Are you happy? See, it's the Bugatti LA Voyager Noir. I knew exactly where it was and it didn't take me long at all. This is such a nice ride. One of the most expensive in the world. And I can't believe I collected it. It's got leather seats on the inside. I spec the high you can get. There is literally no other car better than this one. I'm not even kidding. So, Simeon, I got the ride for you. Now give me the 10 million bucks. I'm not an idiot, Michael. I know you crashed this car a million times, and for that, I took one million dollars from your pay. Nine million dollars? Simeon, you can't do this to me. I really need the 10 million bucks, dude. I got a base at home being built, which I put 10 billion dollars into. Do you have any idea how stressful that is? I do. And do you have any idea how stressful it is trying to repair a luxury car like this one? No Nowhere near as stressful as what I'm doing, Simeon. Trust me. Listen, that's irrelevant. I will pay you $9 million. Take it or leave it. You got three, two, one. I'll take it. I'll take it, Simeon. I'll take it, okay? Ah, nine million bucks. That's really annoying. Michael, what are we gonna do? I'm still a million dollars short. Franklin. Oh, no. This better not be another game of golf. Trevor really caught us out good. Well, he's offering to play us again for a million bucks. What do you say? Huh, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Oh, what do you guys think? Do you think I should take the deal? Go for another game and you know, try and win a million bucks. What's that? You're saying yes? Hey, Mikey, you there? Yes, I'm there. One second. I'm just thinking. Hey, Simeon, have you got any other jobs I can do? No, no jobs. Nothing for you. Franklin, you got yourself a deal. All right, I'll meet you at the golf course. All right, let's see. Where's that wind going? It's going a little bit to the right. We don't want to go too far like that. All right, I think that's decent now. All right, let's do perfect shot. Bam! Oh, perfect. Let's go. No, not in the sandpit. Not in the... Nice shot. Could have been a better one. What's Franklin gonna do? Oh! Oh, Franklin ain't winning this one! <laughs> 
on another golf course, Franklin. <laughs> that was really far out. And Trevor came in with the best shot. Trevor is secretly a pro. That better go in the sand. Oh, it's not in the sand pit. That sucks. Franklin shooting from hole number six. <laughs> but that was actually a pretty good shot. He's pretty close to the hole. Oh, no, the tree's in the way. What am I going to do? There we go. That's perfect. That's nice. It could have been better. I'm in the rough. I'm in a really, really bad patch, guys. I'm in a really bad patch. Of course. Perfect shot. That's going to go on the green. Oh, no. He's in the sandbox. Yes. <laughs> Franklin, on the other hand, he screwed that one up big time. Take it again. Good luck this time. Don't get out of bounds again. That was actually a really good shot. Oh, jeez. All right, Michael. Nothing else matters right now. Nothing else matters. We're going to increase the distance a little bit. Something like that. Not bad. And here we go. Let's do this. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, nice! Hey, Trevor, bet you didn't see that one coming, buddy. Try and get out the sand now. Oh, okay, not bad. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. No, oh, so close. If he gets it in the hole now. Yes. Oh my days, guys. I think we've done it. Don't go in. Don't go in. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get it in again. Oh, no, he got a bogey. One over par. What's Franklin going to do? Uh-oh. All right, Franklin got a bogey, too. I think we're in the lead right now. If I get this in the hole... Yes! I win! That means I get a million bucks! Do you want a rematch? No, Trevor, I don't want a rematch. I'm gonna go and pay this money to the builders and, you know, actually check out my amazing secret bunker. Michael, I'm glad we won that. <laughs> Looks like the training really helped. Hey, guys, you can stop pretending to work now. I got your money. Now, can you please build this bunker? You said you would do it immediately. Great. Well, give me the money and we'll build the base. Okay. Well, here's the 10 million dollars. Now, what do we... Dude, whoa, everything's gone. Hello? Hello? Have you seriously ripped me off? Guys, come on, you can't have done this right now. They've disappeared. It's as if they were never even here. The piles of dirt, everything. Okay, I think they built the bunker, but I have no idea where it is. Whoa, this is so deep. All right, it's right next to my tennis court. Hey, how about we just uh, check this out then, Michael? <laughs> This is the coolest secret base ever. Wow. I, I can't even see the top from down here. Whoa. Hang on a second. All right, guys. I've made it down. Let's just go down these stairs. Let's see where this goes to, huh? What is down here, dude? <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is crazy. What? All right, there's like a computer thing in the center. And whoa. <laughs> Guys, I have the craziest garage ever. Look at these beautiful cars. There's supercars. There's Bugattis over there. All right, guys, I think we're going to be okay for cars. Can I drive these? Wait, hang on a second. Where do I get these cars out of the bunker? I need to know that answer first. All right, just grab this one, Michael. They got them in here. There's got to be a way out of here. Like another secret entrance. Garage. Wait a second. Oh, <gasps> no way. Hey, guys, I just made a tunnel which goes to my neighbor's house. No way, this is amazing. Seriously, too good to be true. This base goes underneath Michael's house and extends to his neighbor's house down at the bottom of the hill. Hmm, what's through this room? There's like another secret room. Let's go through. Okay, kind of a blank storage area. There's one suitcase in the middle. There's a downstairs. Before I take the downstairs, this room looks like Michael's bedroom. And there's a hot tub in there. So cool. No way, dude. Down the stairs, there's, there's a swimming pool. There's an actual swimming pool. <laughs> All right. Well, I know I'm not going to be using my pool again. Michael, screw the kids and the family. We're going to be swimming down here. I have my own swimming pool. That's amazing. Wow. Seriously, just wow. This is crazy. Wow. Oh, my days. Tons and tons of these. Lots of these. Lots of supplies. Some robotic machines. Wait, what is this? This is a giant machine. I could do so much damage with that. What does that do? Oh, my days. I have so many rare and secret items here, guys. I have a sword. There's that. What? There's this? <laughs> There's another one of these. Dude, this is amazing. Oh, my days. I have all the normal items and then some really rare ones. So this is my safe room. There's tons of gold in here. Wow, did I even give them $10 billion or did they just give it me back? There's money all the way down here going to the end of this room. Guys, there's gonna be billions, if not trillions of dollars down here. I don't even wanna take any money from this. It's gonna be so unsatisfying when I do. It's so neatly presented. Are these graphic cards? Like, seriously? <laughs> Wait a second, guys. It goes up another level. I didn't realize that. Where does that go to? There is only one way to find out. Oh, my beautiful, amazing art collection over here. Oh, this is my recording room. Oh, my days. I got like a green screen over here. Hey, guys, check it out. Hey, don't do anything funny with this green screen. Well, this is awesome, guys. I now have my amazing bunker underneath Michael's house. Can I break the glass? I can't. It's got bulletproof glass. Even better. Well, you know what, Michael? This is a pretty amazing base. You are one very lucky man. There's a bunch of septillionaires in GTA 5. This is how much a septillion dollars is, by the way. And they have some of the craziest, rarest, most expensive cars you're ever gonna see. 
see. So something tells me these cars are gonna be priceless. But we better do this quickly because at the end of the day, these guys are gonna organize the craziest party ever. And my house is gonna be completely transformed just for this party. And if you want an invitation, you better subscribe to my channel. Do it now or else you're gonna miss the invite. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Let's go and get the first car. Inside this garage is the first car from a septillionaire. It's a private garage which belongs to a penthouse suite right at the top of that building. <laughs> Let's see what we get inside. Wait a second. Hang on a minute. What is this? Guys, I just found a golden Lego car and it's made by Ferrari and it's solid gold. Yo, Franklin, we gotta get inside this thing. So this is the inside. There's a bunch of Lego blocks everywhere. Alright, as far as first cars go, I'm really impressed. But let's see what happens if I crash this into... Not that. No, no, no. We're gonna go straight into Simeon's store. So much better. <laughs> yeah! Oh my days, I smashed the window of his store! And my car is actually kinda okay. Dude, it didn't even fall apart. I, I dented the front and that's basically it! Alright, well, um, there we go. The car does not fall apart. Whoever owns this did a really good job at putting it together. Well, it definitely goes as fast as a Ferrari. And check this out, guys! There's even flames coming out the exhaust pipe around the back. That's so cool! So I think this is the Ferrari F40. Just a hunch right there. It's got a triple exhaust pipes around the back. And look at the side, there's even the Lego logo. Alright, let's take this one back home and go and grab the next Septillionaire car. I can't wait to see what the other ones are. And I can't wait to get this giant robot which apparently exists. <laughs> I wasn't told anything about this one. I'm on top of Mount Chiliad and it's covered in snow. Hey, excuse me guys. Excuse me. I would really like to get, get past. Oh my days. What are you doing, ma'am? It's snowing out. And you're wearing like a t-shirt? You guys are crazy. Well, I hope you don't mind being run over. Sorry lady. Just gotta get to this uh, car wherever it is. Whichever Septillionaire this is clearly loves the snow. What do you reckon? I it is, guys. Do, 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 do. So there's the platform. And uh, can you guys see anything? Wait a minute. I can see golden snowmobiles. <laughs> these are so rare. All right, Franklin, we got to grab one of these, buddy. This is a snowmobile. And I don't really see anyone around. Hey, let's go snowmobiling. Oh, apart from those guys over the hill. Okay, we better get on before they spot me. Quick, Franklin, get on the snowmobile. I can tell they're coming over here. And they're going to be here soon. This is awesome. I'm driving a snowmobile down Mount Chiliad. And it's gold. Nothing's better than this, but I want to do something crazy with this. We're gonna jump off the mountain. Let's go <laughs> Oh my days. This is such a dumb idea Franklin. <laughs> Ow, come on Nice. All right, we landed it. Keep it going Franklin. Watch out for the rocks. Oh Jeez, okay. We have sort of just squished this thing, but that's okay. We're out of the snow I'm following the dirt down and I can see the Lambo sea. This is pretty easy to drive down the mountain to be honest I think the skis help at the front. They're guiding us like a boss and straight through the top Tunnel at the bottom. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> well, I got my second vehicle. A golden snowmobile. What a crazy adventure that was. So, Franklin, let's drop this one back off at home and grab another one. Ah, here we go. Now they're making progress. Hey, guys, I want to see the craziest party tonight. Okay, don't let me down. Let's go and get another vehicle from another super rich septillionaire. <laughs> the next ride is at the golf club where tons of rich people in Los Santos go and play sport every weekend. But let's uh, see what car we got over here. I don't really see anything over there. What about behind? Us. Oh, there it is, guys. I found it. Amazing. And it's another solid gold car. Wow. I have a feeling every single car we're getting today is going to be gold, which is going to be awesome if it is. <laughs> They're worth even more money this way. Now, this looks really nice. It's sort of classic. The fuel pumps around the back. It's got a massive storage space. It looks like a one-seater. They took the passenger seat out. Yo, as far as cars go, this is so unique. Now, I'm just going to jump inside before anyone notices this car is even gone. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, if I need to continue collecting these cars, I need you to subscribe to my channel. Don't worry, it's a really simple fix. All you gotta do is find the subscribe button, it's around this video, and just press it, guys. It's free to do. You'll be given videos like this every single day. Just please press the button so I can continue collecting these cars. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yes, it's gone. Does that mean I can get in the car? Oh, finally, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm inside the car now. Thanks for subscribing, guys. You're legends. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Pretty nice. All right, there's the steering wheel. Pretty basic. Got some sort of uh, windshield in front of me. Nice. I'm liking it. You know, as far as cars go, this is a pretty good ride. There's a ventilation system around the front. I have a feeling the engine gets pretty hot. I don't really know what kind of make this car is. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I'm usually pretty good with cars, but this one is throwing me off, and that is an awesome face around there. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Alright, this, this actually goes pretty fast, guys. It's faster than Lamborghinis, faster than some Ferraris I've driven. This is actually the fastest one I've driven today. And it goes even faster. I didn't even reach maximum speed. Whatever they put inside this 
this car, it's worth a lot of money, guys. At least a million bucks. And I'm driving it right now through Los Santos. Whoa, I love the exhaust. How it goes around the side. That's nice. I completely out the way. Let's switch on those lights. Beautiful. Let's see how good those brakes are. Oh. Not so great. You can tell it's an old car for that reason, but I love the way the tires are designed. I have a feeling we're gonna get on pretty well, but let's take this one back home because I wanna see what other cars we can find. How's the build going? I wanna see the craziest party tonight. It's going well. We'll be done in eight hours. Oh, that really is cutting it close. It's like a mixed day right now. Hey guys, if you get it done in seven hours, I'm gonna give you double the pay, okay? <laughs> right, let's go. Looks like somebody decided to have a picnic. Would be a shame if someone were to steal that car. It looks like a really nice ride too. <laughs> Have you seen the back of that thing? Check it out, dude. That's such a nice car. Wait, hang on a second. It kind of reminds me of Batman's car. No way does this guy have Batman's car. He does. Check out those wheels. That is definitely Batman's car and they have no idea I'm looking at it. <laughs> All right, these guys have so much money. They literally have the cars Batman has. That is insane. I love the lights at the front, the engine, machine, reactor. What do you want to call that thing at the front? It's insane. The ventilation's system, the design, and the turbocharged rocket around the back. Yo, I gotta get inside this vehicle. It hasn't even got a name. Hang on a second. There's lights at the front which switch on when you get inside. That's insane, dude. That's awesome. It's like LED lights you get on your computer. You know, you don't need them, but it makes it look so much nicer. Now, let's see. What does it look like on the inside? All right, pretty cool. I got... Oh, oh hello. Hello. How's it going, buddy? What's your name? <laughs> I got a Batman logos, all these screens. Wow, this is crazy. This is a real vehicle from Batman. You won't believe this. Every single time time I accelerate, a rocket comes out the back. It's powered by jet fuel. And there's the boost! Whoa! And we're out of there! <laughs> that was easy. That was so crazy and so out easy. And I made it. Nice. Well, uh, they're gonna be very annoyed, but let's see what this is like on the road. It feels like a super heavy car. Like, seriously heavy. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting some speed. I'm on the road, and oh, we span out a little bit again. It's so easy to do! Well, in that case, I think we haven't got any choice but to use the boost. All right, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. I could drive this car all day everywhere, but it's really difficult to drive. So I'm going to take this thing back home and make sure the car is stored safely. Well, I wasn't expecting this kind of car, but to be honest, I didn't know what I was expecting. All I know is that there's a robot in this collection somewhere. So let's go and find that. It's the observatory. That's where the next vehicle is. And it's right over here. <laughs> yeah, that was super easy. It's got red tires. It's solid gold. It's no robot. All right, Franklin, can we just get through the door? Oh, no. Oh, it's locked and the window's too small for me to get through. Oh, man. In that case, one of these people around here owns this car. Come on, Franklin. Let's go and find them. Is it this lady? There's only one way to find out. Sorry, ma'am. I need the keys. Oh, no keys. No keys on her. All right, let's see. What about those people over there? Maybe they own the car. Hey, ma'am, I could do with this car. Uh, bam. Nice. And the other one. Yeah. All right, let's see. Keys, keys, keys. Nothing. Oh, nothing on her either. Come on. There's nothing on any of them. Who has the key? There is someone over there, though. Maybe she owns the car. All right, slowly, frankly, slowly. She has no idea we're getting the keys. Give me the keys. <laughs> All right, let's check. Let's check. Yes. No way. I got them. Oh, that's a massive help. All right, let's jump inside, Franklin. Uh, paramedics, you've got a bit of a job to do around here. Sorry about that. Whoa, did you see how big those doors are? Guys, check it out. They're massive. That's like half the length of the entire car. That is so crazy. So this is the inside. Very nice. Maybe the next one is going to turn into a giant robot. Who knows? But at least it's got an automatic spoiler. I mean, that's pretty cool. Check it out, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You break, it falls. You go fast, it comes out. All right, this is the Batista. It's got this neon gauge around the back. I don't know what that thing is, but it looks nice. As far as the speed goes, it's pretty fast, and I have way more control than Batman's car. Batman better consider upgrading. In fact, I didn't even favor by taking that ride from him. This ride, however, the Batista, nah. Now, this one knows what it's doing. I can glide through the traffic, head back home, and not worry about crashing into anything. Hey, Sounds like a party's going on in there. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're working hard on tonight. We're gonna have the craziest party you're ever gonna see. And this house is gonna be totally transformed just for tonight. Well, there's five lovely cars lined up, and I'm only halfway through the video. There's still so many more to get. And so many amazing vehicles left. Like this giant robot I'm still yet to find. Come on, Franklin, don't stop now. We gotta keep collecting these cars. Looks like somebody wanted a coffee. Oh, no, there he is, dude. He has no idea I'm about to steal his car. I'm a nobody. Don't worry, dude. I'm just gonna go and steal your car. <laughs> 
this is a really nice ride. All right, Franklin, jump inside, buddy, before he realizes what's going on. Hey, stop that. Oh, boy. Now he knows. Now he knows. Better go. I'll be getting out of here. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that was the easiest collection ever. And now I'm inside the car. I want to see what I got, guys. So there's like a logo around the side. I don't quite know what that is, but I have a feeling this is a Sigma 12. It's super wide, and it's only got one seat in the middle. There's the light around the back. It's fully electric. I love the bar over there, too. Yo, this is a really good ride, dude. And the spoilers fix the car. I love it when they do that, because I have a feeling this goes super fast. So fast that the spoiler has to be attached to the vehicle. I don't know who designed this, but whoever did, you did an amazing job. I love the way it just flows. And I basically have bumpers on this thing. Like, I can crash into anything I want to. <laughs> and I barely even get it scratched. This is completely reinforced, and it's a supercar. You don't get many cars like that. Now, let's see what the inside is like. Okay, we got tons of blue in here. Nice, interesting. Uh, yeah, there's, there's my seat. <laughs> There's really not a lot inside it. There's just like a steering wheel and the speed thing over there. Right now, I'm touching 100 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, I can get used to this ride. This is a nice one. And you know what, guys? It's gonna be difficult picking my favorite. It's either this one or the Batmobile. Which one is your favorite? Don't tell me now. Tell me at the end. Because there's a few more cars left and Sunny tells me the next ones are gonna be game changers. Taking it back home. Oh, yeah. Franklin, we have arrived. Oh, man, what happened to my car? Why is it upside down? Um, yeah, weird things happen. And let's grab another one. That is such a nice ride. Seems like somebody's into their wine. When I'm done with this one, they're gonna be whining a lot that they lost their car. <laughs> see what I did there, guys? See see what I did? See, did yeah, all right, I'll, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> so this is the vehicle. And wait a second, this is a really long car. No way. Hey, what I love about this is that it's got this divider thing over here. That's pretty cool. What kind of vehicle do we have here? Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on a second. You are poor. Wow, I really want to get this car now. I want to find whoever owns this and just, I, I don't know, maybe take his wine away. Who knows? So this is a horrible number play, but let's check out the inside. All right, so that, whoa. Hang on a second. This is like a private jet on the inside. White leather, champagne glasses, table seats. Is it Mercedes? Mercedes Maybach. Right, let's just jump inside. Um, I kind of want to go around the back, to be honest. Is that allowed? Can someone just refer me everywhere? I, I, I want to be given rides. <laughs> this is awesome. I love of the luxury interior. I don't think I've ever driven a car which is as luxury as this on the inside. This is so nice. So, uh, let's take this one back home. Oh my days. Wait, hang on a second, guys. This is super fast. Jeez. Oh my days. It shoots off like a piece of paper. You have your own cubicle just to speak with your mates. Watch TV, play video games. Oh, hang on a second, guys. Someone's driving me here. I am not... No, no, no. I'm being driven. <laughs> hey, so I'll pay you like a hundred bucks if you drive me home. Okay, let's go. <sighs> now we're talking. I got my own valet guy, and I'm being driven home. Check it out, guys. Skylight. Nice. I got curtains here. There's my little table, and there's my TV. Oh, my days. This is so crazy, dude. I can't believe I'm riding this thing. I need to see one of these cars in real life. I didn't realize luxury existed like this. Guys, I will see you when I get home. Oh, we're here. Hang on a second. Thanks, Mr. Valet guy. You're the best. Well, I now have the Septillidaire's lovely luxury limousine. Thanks, buddy. Here's your hundred bucks. That was one of the coolest cars I've driven. But now let's go and get another one. <laughs> hey, Steve, drive the car here. One second, I gotta put batteries in. What in the world is going on down there? That is not a car I was expecting. Lightning McQueen, racing car. Well, I mean, that does kind of sound fun. <laughs> I do like Lightning McQueen, but I was not expecting this today. All right, let's grab this car. Hey, man, I heard you're uh, looking for some new batteries. Yeah, well, I got some right here. Bah! <laughs> Quick, get the other guy, get the other guy, get the other guy. Nice. So now I've got the racing car. I'm controlling it with a remote. And this is pretty cool. How far can I go without losing the connection? All right, let's see. I'm going up this hill. Pretty far, to be honest. I'm going pretty far. Oh, hang on a second. What is there an elephant doing around here? I... <laughs> Hello, I didn't realize there were elephants in this universe. Hey, what do you think of my ride? Maybe... Oh. Oh, 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 boy, it's so difficult to control. How on earth have I still got connection of this car? Wow, I've made it straight to the top of the hill. That is so crazy. But let's go straight down. <laughs> Coming through. Oh, boy. This is one way to destroy the vehicle. Is there anyone on the road? Dude, how far is this range? I must be at least a mile away. Hang on, I found someone. Oh, my days. I went straight underneath him. <laughs> That's awesome. I am so impressed. No one can screw with me. Wait a second. What's going on here? <gasps> a police chase. No way. Hang on a minute, guys. There's a police chase. I 
right, don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna bump into this guy. Stop right there, mister. I got him. No way. Uh-oh, he doesn't like what I did, though. Hey, buddy, uh, excuse me. Just gonna run you over. Ah, oh, my days. I keep going through his legs. Hey, officer, he's right here. He's just in this bush. Wait, I got him. I, I ran him over. Well, I don't know exactly what happened with them, but I'll leave the police to deal with them now. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, my days. No, he's running out of signal. We better go back home. This is too far out. Let's take this thing back to Franklin. Hey, Chop, what do you think of my remote control car? Check it out, dude. All right, what is he up to? I'm gonna, this is spying on Chop 101. All right, Chop sits down. He doesn't do much. Come on, Chop, do something. Do something, boys. Hang on a second. <laughs> he's stuck on the, he's stuck on the car. <laughs> right, well, Chop isn't gonna do anything right now. So let's just park this thing back up and find the next vehicle. Out of every single vehicle, I can't believe that is the first one that isn't gold. All right, let's go and get some more. I got eight amazing vehicles so far. Between their luxury plane and luxury helicopter is the next vehicle from a septillionaire. And I think I can see it. No way. Is this the one I think it is? Guys, you're gonna love this vehicle if it is. Pegasus Concierge. They're gonna be so annoyed when they lose the monowheel. I knew it, guys. It is. This is literally the best vehicle ever. It's so rare. There's only one of these in the entire GTA universe. There's really not a lot to it. Just a seat, an engine, and the handlebars. But now, now, let's see how this thing performs. Having such a long steering wheel is the best thing ever. I can just chill, sit back, relax, and just drive this thing. And whenever I want to steer, bam, bam. <laughs> so easy. The black rubber around the side just helps this thing spin as it goes. And on the inside, we only have this tiny dashboard, which tells me things like how much fuel we have and how fast we're going. Not that it really matters. Just keep your legs in, Franklin, just in case. Don't want to lose a leg. Not only can we get through the tightest of gaps and pretty much fit into every single part, Spots. We can do some pretty awesome stunts with this too. Like this ramp. They won't even know what's hit them. I'm gonna land straight on top of the highway. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Franklin, that was awesome, buddy. That was so cool. And these guys had no idea. The lights work on this thing. It's even got a number plate. Like everything about this is exactly the same as a car, except it's just a monowheel. And people don't swerve you because you're not even in their way. Check it out. I can go as close to them as I want to and they're not even gonna flinch. All right, I'm leaving this one here. Let's go and get the next car. There can't be many left to get now. I know we're almost done, but we still haven't got the robot. So I have a feeling the next vehicle is gonna be the robot. Let's find out. So the next person is inside the Fleeker Bank, probably looking at their millions, trillions, septillion dollars. And their car is, of course, in the car park or robot. Who knows? We are not missing this ride. If this really is the robot, we can't afford to miss them. So close, so close, so close. Is it there? No, it's not the robot, but it's still a kind of like a nice car. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lovely replacement. This is a Lamborghini? <laughs> okay, this is seriously nice now. All right. I like this vehicle. I think it's the Lamborghini Vision GT. Just look at this engine around the back. Beautiful. We even have the Lamborghini logo down there. Wow. All right. This is nice. It's a carbon frame and the rest of it is just solid gold. It hasn't even got a name. It's, it's that rare. This is insane. Yo, this is gonna look so nice at the house for the party tonight. I just know it is. It's even got a holographic display around the front just to tell you how fast you're going, how much fuel you have, and even the gears left on your vehicle. It's fast, nice, it's smooth. Check it out. Straight between the traffic. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, 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 oh you can't see me. <laughs> I can steer like a boss at a moment's notice. But other than that, it's a really nice ride. And we go super fast, we have tons of control, and I have a feeling Franklin is gonna get along well with this one. Anyway, let's take this one back home, because there's only one vehicle left, and it has to be the robot this time. There is no way it isn't. The Lamborghini Vision GT. I didn't think I would see the day we have this in my collection. This is a beautiful collection, guys. Can I just put it out there? And remember your favorite car, because at the end of this video, I need you to comment which one it is. We're gonna do some crazy vote in the comments, and one of these is gonna win. The military base? I didn't think I had to go in here. Oh, this is really bad, but I suppose it makes sense if there's some robot out there. Where else would it be? We better be careful here, buddy. One wrong move, and we're not making it out alive. Well, here goes nothing. I'm gonna sneak inside, and hopefully not get caught. Oh, boy. Boy, someone's already spotted me. Hey, mister, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not coming in. Please, please, please. Oh, no, he's pointing his gun at me. Bro, it's okay. Don't worry. Phew, that was a close one. He almost had me. But don't worry, guys. I know just what to do. We can sneak in this way, and this wall is gonna protect us. If we just careful now and then climb nice, he has no idea. I've just snuck inside the military base. No way. All right, Franklin, now it's our time to shine. Let's go and find this giant robot. Careful now, Franklin. Careful, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. He almost saw me. And there's a tank! There's a tank, dude! There's a tank! Oh, 
Oh, this is so crazy. This is so crazy, dude. We can't afford to be caught. Don't worry, guys. I'm a ninja in disguise. We're gonna be A-OK. -okay. I'll find this robot and we'll be out of here. All I need to do is get the robot and then cause havoc. You know, usual way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've made it to the other side. There's a tank over there. Oh, boy. There's someone there. I think we're gonna be all right now. I'm gonna run straight across, and I'm gonna make a hole in that fence. Let's do this. Fire that thing. Blow it up, blow it up. Nice. All right, run. Run, Franklin, run. Amazing. I'm in, I'm in. And no, oh, no, no, they've seen me. All right, use the grenade launcher, Franklin. Get them, get them, dude. Come on. Nice. He's down. All right, keep running, buddy. Keep running. We gotta find this robot. And there's an oil tanker, and there's another car there. I think we, oh my days, there's a tank, there's a tank, there's a tank. Run, Franklin, run. Run, buddy. Oh my days, I got the robot. Yes. Hang on a second. If I can get the robot, maybe I I can destroy the tank with it. All right, here goes nothing. Go, go, go. It's now or never, buddy. Now or never. Jump inside as quickly as you can. Come on. <laughs> yes, I'm in. Now get the tank. <laughs> Whoa, this is working. This is working. And you won't believe this. I'm moving with it. This is crazy. Hey, whichever septillion that owned this, you know what you're doing, buddy. You're preparing for disaster. Like, this is insane. I can fire explosive rounds from this thing. These guys behind me, no chance at all. That tank, kaboom. <laughs> no one can mess with me. Wow, this is insane. I love this robot. Bro, you are crazy. <laughs> and I could run people over. I can't believe I finally found the robot. And I gotta make this thing gold too. Like, we gotta match the collection. Yes, I'm out of the military base. Bring it on. I got a five-star one level. Tanks are chasing me down. This is the best way I could end the episode. I can fire these explosive rounds backwards, forwards in a total 360. And nobody can stop me. Not even tanks, not jets, not planes, not anything. <laughs> this is crazy. Give me five minutes and there'll be no police officers left to get me. <laughs> That guy, dude. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, they've given up. I got the robot all to myself. This is by far one of the best collections ever, but check this out, guys. My house is finally built. Tonight, we're gonna have the craziest party ever. But let's take a look at the cars we got. There's my robot. There's the classic. Here's the Sigma 12. And there's Batman's car. Wow. They even put a light on it just, just for fun. <laughs> my Lego gold car, the monowheel, the super long Mercedes Maybach. And over there is the Batista. And down there, guys, is the tiny remote control lighting McQueen and my golden snowmobile. Oh, and over here is my Lamborghini. Don't know what it's doing over here. Hey, guys, I told you to rearrange the cars, not get rid of them. <laughs> nice. You're gonna look beautiful right over here. So these are the cars I collected. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and smash like if you enjoyed. But I got a party to attend to and check out this amazing design. So this is the driveway, which takes you down to the roof of my house. And at nighttime, it looks insane. There's so many lights on this thing. There's my beautiful cars down there from Septilliness. Hey, uh, guards, make sure no one takes the robot. Roger, roger. Thanks, guards, you're the best. Now, let's see who attended. I know I invited basically the whole city, so did the whole city arrive? <laughs> oh, yes, they did. This is awesome. Earlier today, I robbed a bank, and we made a ton of money, but on the way out, I accidentally knocked a lady over, and she wasn't very happy. In fact, she called me this. It was strange. You, sloppity gullion! That got me scratching my head, despite the fact there were hundreds of officers around me. So I did a quick Google search and realized she called me a mean, worthless, villainous person. I wasn't very happy with this. So I knocked her over again, ran away, and bam, vanished. It's my magic trick whenever I rob banks. It comes in pretty handy. After getting home and counting my money, I phoned up Michael and played golf. But today something wasn't right. The wind was breezy, carrying the wailing of a distant, threatening police siren. The crows were calling. The streets fell silent. I didn't know what to do, but I knew one thing. We had to get home. The sirens got louder and louder. I got home, prepared, armed myself up, ready for a battle. I had just robbed a bank, remember? They weren't just gonna let that slide. This is going to get messy. So I hid under my bed, hoping that we could avoid the mess. But then the unexpected happened. Ding Dong. Somebody's at my door. My knees were wobbly. I was comfortable under my bed. There is no way I was getting out of there. So Franklin grabbed his phone from his pocket and opened up the camera outside. And what happened next shocked me. The footage contained two police officers, except they were on the ground. Behind them were a bunch of men in suits. Men I didn't recognize whatsoever. They saved me. They took out the officers. Job done. I need to thank them. So I went upstairs and gracefully went to open the door. But the moment I took the lock off, they slammed the door in my face. They grabbed me by my ankles and dragged me downstairs, bumping my head on every single step. I was confused, scared, and very 
hungry. But by the time I got to the bottom, they threw me against my gold and told me this. You punch my wife? You disrespect my family? They're the mafia. And that lady I bumped into was his wife. But not just any wife, the boss's wife. You're going to pay, not just for her, but for me. Oh yeah, tough guy? And what if I say no? If you say no, you will make a good compost for my garden. And we will grow vegetables out of you. Oh no, no vegetables, anything but vegetables. So I'm left no choice but to join the mafia. So now you shall call me Frank No Respect Clinton. I was given the name by my superiors, AKA the Don, the boss, number one of the mafia. Let's go. <laughs> hey yo, Frank, go get your vehicle. No way, I got a vehicle? Hey guys, let's go get the vehicle. <laughs> this is so cool. I get to join the mafia in GTA 5. I wonder what vehicle they give me. Like, do you reckon it's gonna be some golden Lamborghini? I mean, what kind of vehicles do mafia people drive? <laughs> I don't even know. But my vehicle's waiting for me at the observatory. That's not too far away. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they give me. Being in the mafia is serious business. Yeah, I might get all the girls in town. Franklin Clinton's now the most popular guy, but I gotta be careful who I trust, who I speak to, the things I say, stuff I do. I don't even know if I can trust you guys right now. You better subscribe so I know I can trust you. Anyway, let's see what vehicle they got me. Three different vehicles? Are you kidding me? I gotta choose one vehicle. Wow. <laughs> wow. I have three choices. What? Yo, Franklin, this is crazy. Oh, my days. Which vehicle do we go for? Guys, look at this. That literally says Mafia on the number plate. I kind of want to go for the Mercedes, dude. Just imagine rolling around in the Mafia in that machine. <laughs> uh, yo, this car's boring. That's like a typical Mafia car. Da Mafia. No, I don't want to be in Da Mafia. This looks kind of cool, though. I like this ride, but hey, this is not... This is, this ain't a Mercedes, dude. This is, I don't even know what that is. You know, that's garbage. I'm getting the Mercedes. <laughs> They've given me a Mercedes. That's so sick. Oh, my goodness. Yo, I'm loving the Mafia. This is actually really fun. <laughs> I can't believe it. I get to join the Mafia today. What? There's even a holographic display in this thing? Yo, this car does it all. Look at this dashboard. Yo, I can Facebook my friends on here. I can... I can FaceTime and drive? Is that even safe? Oh, here we go. They're giving me a phone call. Oh, jeez. Ah, don't, don't text and drive, of course. Franklin, no respect, Clinton. <laughs> what can I do you for? <laughs> Yo, Frank, prove to us you ain't no snitch. You take care of this dude. What does that mean? Do I hug him or do I... Oh, man, I got to collect a million dollars of debt. <laughs> I don't think we're hugging that guy. All right, where is he? Oh, man, he's literally next door to the police station. This is so sketchy. <laughs> oh, no. But if I want to make myself known in here and upgrade my name to Franklin, I got respect Clinton, then I got to do this job, guys. And then the mafia is going to treat me better and better and better. Maybe I'll even become the boss. Who knows? Come on, Franklin. Let's go and pay him a visit. Yo, I found the apartment. These are the doors that go inside. This guy lives in a tower. <laughs> this is so crazy. All right, Franklin, let's go sort out the trash. <laughs> Yo, okay, this is uh, this is interesting. Oh, some flies around. Yo, these people, they live like animals. Oh, my goodness. You're going to insult the boss? You insult me. Oh, jeez. They didn't sell me there with this many stairs, dude. They didn't call me Franklin Climb Stair. They called me Franklin No Respect. Now, this is his door, man. Not welcome. Wow, he really does not like people. All right, that's it. Let's go pay him a visit, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is the Mafia. I'm here to take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, buddy. Be a good boy and give us the million bucks. A nice apartment, by the way. Is this like a condo or something? Like, when did you get this thing out, huh? I didn't realize they had these next to the police station. I haven't got a million bucks. You better, or else things are gonna get ugly. I, I ain't no snitch. I got a hundred grand. Will that do it? A hundred grand? No, that's, that's ten percent. Can you do maths? I, I came in for a million. I just need a million. All right, if you don't have the money, that's, that's all right. We'll figure something else out. <laughs> no, no, I, I have the money. Uh, just give me another the week. Sorry, buddy. Can't give you another week. I need the money now. Oh, man, this guy's really stringing me on. Now, pay up, buddy. Pay up. I'm not gonna ask again. Ow! Ow! What was that for? Ow! Hey, listen, Matt. Oh, jeez. I... Passed out. What do I do? I, I need the million bucks. Come on, there wasn't going to kill him. Jeez. Oh, putting him in my car will take him to the mafia myself. <laughs> you will pay us the million bucks. And you better not be dead. I really hope he's not. Come on. Come on, Franklin. Oh, this guy weighs a ton. Jeez. Oh, oh, man. I got three flights of stairs to go down to. An elevator would be nice. Right. Let's see what the boss is going to do about it. Because he's not going to give me the million bucks. But he might give the boss the million bucks. <laughs> Come on, Franklin. Let's go. Please. Get me out of here. 
Sorry, man, no can do. Once you owe money to the mafia, <laughs> you owe money to the mafia. <laughs> there is. Hey, hey, stop hitting the back of this car. It's new. Let me out. No, no. Right, that's it. Break. Ugh. Ow, back out. Ow, my head. Yeah, I'll, I'll break again, but this time it'll be sudden. I'll crash into a tree. Yeah, how do you like that? I'm crazy enough to do it. I will. I will. Okay, okay, I get it. Now that's over. Let's go and meet the boss, all right? He's friendly. He's a cool guy. Yo, Timmy. Give me the money. I haven't got your money. That's a real shame, Timmy. We would have made good friends. So how much money do you have? I mean, I'm sure we can work something out. No, we can't. This is the final straw. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> You're not the first guy on this train track either. Hey, listen, if you give us the money now, I'm sure we can give you a couple more days of living. Yeah, of course. Give us what you got. Okay, okay. I uh, got 800,000. Is that enough? That'll do for now. So he's just giving him $800,000. That's not too bad. Not quite the full million, but this is just a lesson learned on what happens if you don't pay the mafia their money. Now, come on, Timmy. Let's get you off that train track now. Come on, come on. I'll give you a hand. Oh, boy. Oh, gee. Tokyo. That's what you deserve, Timmy. Good riddance. These guys are crazy. I don't want to double cross the mafia ever. Or owe them money. Or even owe them a peanut. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, uh, sad story for that guy, right? Very sad story. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Well, you just did. So, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. Well done. You've done great today. Have a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mafia henchman. I gotta make sure I buff this guy up a little bit so I get some pay rises and some extra securities like these fellows. <laughs> Frank, you impressed me today. Come to my house. Your house? Oh, jeez. I gotta see the mafia boss's house. Let's go. Whoa, this is the mafia's house. It looks pretty big and it has an incredible view. <laughs> Who would have thought? Franklin Clinton, part of the mafia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just driving inside like I own this place. This is amazing. <laughs> this is actually crazy. All right, I'm in the garage. Leave my right there. Let's go upstairs and find the boss. This is a gigantic house, by the way. Like, there is so much to explore. There's a swimming pool down there. There's a lounge, dining room, helipads. Oh, my goodness. They even have elevators and a golden helicopter. Whoa. I can see the tourist, the observatory. Oh, my goodness. This is actually insane. <laughs> Yo, that goes down so far. And it looks like they got a party going on up there. That's pretty cool. What's through this door? Da -da 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 oh my days, yo. This is a bedroom. Am I even meant to be sneaking around this house? <laughs> I'm literally giving myself a door right now. I don't think the boss is gonna be. Oh, wait a second. He's calling me. Uh. Hello? Frank, meet me in my office. Now. Okay, right. This is either a, a, a kind of a good thing or a terrible thing. Or a really bad thing. I don't think I did anything wrong looking around his house. There are lots of guards over here after all. And I haven't even got to the mystery room at the bottom. But I don't want to be late for the boss. Alright, let's go Let's go and meet the boss right now. Uh, hello off- Oh, jeez, dude, there's so many guards here. <laughs> I really hope he's not annoyed. Hey, I love the place. I would love the tour at some point. Do these guys just follow you around everywhere? I have bad news, Frank. Oh, no, bad news? What do you mean? What, what's the bad news? I can't afford to keep you. And what happens in the mafia stays in the mafia. So does that mean I just work for free? I can still do that. No, 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 no. We have to exterminate you. Uh, like Doctor Who. Wait, 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 wait a second. Exterminate me? Seriously? Oh, boy, I'm panicking right now, Franklin. We are not dying. We are not dying. Oh, no, you get your hands off me, Joe Bananas. Listen, man, I am not I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm I'm loyal. I'm here. I'm yours. Duh, I'm screwing with you. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, that was a joke? Oh, this guy is so annoying. There is one thing you can do, actually. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Oh, did you hear that? That was an explosion. That sounds like a battle. Franklin, Franklin, get up, get up, get up. We are not facing. Now, what was that? Well, what's going on? The police are here. They're not getting through. Oh, jeez, the police? Oh, wow, look at your men. They all fainted, dude. This is gonna be insane. He's got a rocket launcher. Right, actually, I think it's probably a better idea if I don't stay in the room with this guy. <laughs> Let's go and get the police, dude. This is insane. Nobody screws with the mafia. Hey, police, would you like a coffee? Dow! Hey, you disrespect me. You disrespect my family. Oh, jeez, what happened to this guy? Hey, buddy, sorry about that. Whoa! Oh, there's police officers up here. Get them, Franklin. Oh, they're inside. Right, that's it. Let's go and sort them out. No one does a bust on the mafia. Nobody. Oh, my days. They got helicopters outside now. This is insane. Right, let's see if we can get them through the window. Ah, bulletproof windows. That's it. All right, let's do this, Franklin. Time to deal with the police. No one gets the mafia, especially not my mafia. Hey, gentlemen, 
Ethan, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> I love a few grenades. I gotta show my loyalty. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> All right, let's take him out. There we go. There's a bunch of grenades. To oh my days, that's so many. Right, Franklin, let's get that helicopter. Hey, leave us alone. Go find someone else to pick on. Helicopter down. Beautiful. We've almost got the officers. Yeah, <laughs> they send a SWAT team. No way. Hey, you stay away from these cars. They're nice cars. It's just this guy left. There's only a few officers left now. Let's get this last crew. Targets neutralized. Nice. Land crews down. No one else is coming up now. It's just the helicopters. And target neutralized. No one's going to be bothering us now. Oh, that was crazy. The police tried to take us down. And they failed because they had Franklin on the Mafia's side. Nice one, Franklin. That will get us some pretty crazy loyalty points. <laughs> I don't think they'll be angry at us anymore after that. How can they still be chilling in the gym? Like, this house is so big. They had no idea. They're still working out in there. Well done, Franklin. You, you nailed this. Everyone else? No. They did not survive. Us, on the other hand, not a single scratch. Hey, guys. Check it out. The heroes arrived. What did you do? Ah, oh, you just chilled in here like... You you own the place. Man, the police are gone. You don't have to worry about them anymore. Franklin, no respect. Linton got them. Frank, we need to go now. Yes, I totally agree. We gotta get out of here. But first, we have to go to that mystery room downstairs. He needs to collect something from it. What do you think's inside? Downstairs is a mystery room. And I have no idea what he's hiding down here, but I have a feeling it's pretty secret. Go through the elevator. Okay, we're going through the... Oh my days, wait a second. Where is this... No way. There's a secret room in the house. What? They got cameras outside. This is where they have all of their guns. Oh my goodness. They have a vault down here. Now I know why he needs to come down. <laughs> he needs to get all of his money. No way. The mafia own this? How do you get all of this stuff? There's literally missiles in the corner and cash on the table. Why do you have a bust? Why do you have paintings? Elephant? What? This is crazy. A golden egg? No way. This guy has so many things. Well, he's definitely mafia. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Right, he's gonna round up his stuff, and we're gonna move somewhere else. Go, Franklin, go! So, where are we going to, boss? I'll literally drive you anywhere. We need to save the rest of the family. The rest of the family? Oh, man. Are they in trouble? They will be. They raided us. They raided them, too. It looks like we're rescuing the rest of the family. Oh, boy, this is our first proper mission together. I'm with the boss. I can't afford to show him up, but not to worry. I'm Franklin Clinton. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Franklin, no respect, Clinton, on the scene. Can I put the radio on? I think better with music. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Really? I, I did not take you for a guy who likes that kind of music. I love it. Helps me think. Okay, well, whatever helps you think then, man. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyway, let's go and find the rest of his family. He wasn't kidding. The rest of his family is in trouble. This is bad. Get on the ground now. You disrespect me. You disrespect. Yeah, we get it. We don't care. Just get on the ground. Big disrespect, okay? Ah, uh, no. These guys have no idea what they're walking into. Once we're done with them, no one's going to be alive. That family's coming out. Mark my words. All right, that's it. Me and the boss teaming it up. Hey, officers. Looks like you, uh, you're, you're doing something you shouldn't. You know, picking on the mafia. <clears throat> we own half of you guys. <laughs> right, we do own half of them, don't we? We did. We found a better boss. Oh, I see. A better boss. You hear that, boss? They found a better boss. That's impossible. Yeah, I agree. That's so impossible. How, how on earth would you think you found a better boss? Right, that's it. You know what? You guys are going to see what happens when you team up with the better boss. You ready for this? All right, let's just do this. Three, two, one. Screw you guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's take them all out, Franklin. No one screws with us. Hey, officers. You just got fired. <laughs> nice. Let's get all of them, Franklin. Every single one of them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. That's what they get for screwing over the mafia. Hey, are you going to help me, man? Yeah, yeah, I promise. I promise. Oh, oh wow. It doesn't look like you're helping me, buddy. Looks like it's just all on me right now. <laughs> Oh, let's get the helicopters. Oh, no. I would hate to see the helicopter explode. <laughs> oh, man. This is too easy. So who else wants to uh, say the other Mafia is better than us? Because I, I honestly think you guys are wrong. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, I didn't even realize there was another Mafia. No one told me this. Just a few more officers left. And that looks like everybody. Well done, Franklin. <laughs> hey, guys, you can come with me. I'm the newest associate. Franklin, no respect. Clinton, let's go. Thanks. We owe you one. Yeah, I know you do. I'll call in those favors when I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get out of here, guys. Now, the Mafia's using my house as their base, and they've got all of their associates with them. Hey, why am I the only one with a green car? Why does everyone else have to go with black? You're so boring. Come on. <laughs> Liven things up. Go for yellow or red or something, you know? I can't believe after all of this, 
my house is now the base of the mafias. <laughs> now, what's it like on the inside? Have they done? Oh my days. You guys are inside as well? Are you kidding me? Jeez, I don't even get a second to myself anymore. Who's that guy? Like, what is he doing just staring at a blank TV and shop? What are you, what are you doing, man? Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> yeah, they're not letting you inside. We gave him two chances. He tore his apart. I can't stand dogs. Ah, chop's too feisty for you all. Well, thanks for not actually throwing him outside. Big, big respect for that. <laughs> chop, you're too cute for the mafia. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to stay outside. <laughs> this is pretty wild. I got the mafia just camping out in my house. They seem to be loving it. They're, they're enjoying the, the... Well, they're not even enjoying the TV. What? What are they enjoying? They're just watching things. Hey, bro, you seen any bad guys? Or you just seen, you seen this door? <laughs> well, these guys are literally useless. They're just standing there doing nothing. Really? Really? You gotta be in my bedroom now? Yo, that's a photo of my ex-girlfriend. Come on, get out of my bedroom. Jeez, these mafia people have no boundaries, man. No boundaries at all. And yeah, you just think you can party outside? Well, you know what, guys? I love partying. This is the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, the boss is giving me another phone call. One second. Hello? New job. Make sure things go smoothly. Smoothly it is. Let's go and do this job. Drop the gun. No, you drop the gun. I will and you will. Oh, yeah? So will I. Well, this is not gonna work, is it? Or will it? Looks like we got a good old standoff. <laughs> so clearly, I'm on the mafia side, guys. I'm not gonna be on anyone else's. These guys are classy. They present themselves well. They drive limousines, wear suits, and they're extremely mean. <laughs> but it looks like we got a new opponent in the scene. Is this the boss paying the police? Wait a minute. That's Michael the Center. Hey, Michael, what are you doing? Stay out of this, Frank. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm part of the mafia, Michael. I, I'm, I'm Frank. No respect, Linton, okay? <laughs> You're messing up the deal. Oh, boy. Don't. Oh, <laughs> Run, Franklin. Oh, jeez. Oh, guys, we're in a mess right now. <laughs> We're in a big mess. Oh, can we just get the money, please? Oh, jeez, they're coming over the bridge, right? That's it. Uh, oh, boy, God, everyone, everyone flee. Run. <laughs> oh, my days. They blew up all of my cars. The mafia's done. It's just done. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. They just took out the entire mafia. Oh, jeez, they're chasing me. Run, Franklin. Run, 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 run. Okay, okay, this is literally the only way down. Oh, man, they're coming after me, too. They're coming after me. Right, that's it. Three, two, one. Uh, duh, run, Franklin. Go, go. Oh, boy. Ah. Ah! Oh, that really hurts. Our family is bigger than yours, pal. Michael, why are you speaking to me like that? We used to be friends. Work for Uncle Mike. Me. I'm sorry, Michael. I can't. I owe the man for your money. I'm in debt to them. And I can't exactly leave them. You know that. That's a real shame. I'll come for you, Frank. And I'll come for Chop. I'll come for your family. Why did Michael have to say all that? That wasn't very nice. Okay, come on, Franklin. Get up. We're alive today. That's all that matters. Michael spared us, but he is the rival. He's the guy we're going after. He's the one who got the police to raid us. He's the guy the police is working for. And right now, he's beating the mafia. He's really beating them hard. Jeez, I need to relay this to the boss. Oh, hey! It looks like you tried to run away, huh? Yeah, I'll tell the boss what you did, you coward. <laughs> oh, time to break the news. Hey, boss, I got some bad news. The deal didn't go to plan. They took the money and everyone got ambushed. I'm one of the only survivors. Everyone else either died or ran away. Outrageous! In Italy, we solved this by making pizza. And we force our enemy to make tomato sauce without the tomato. No respect, man. No respect. Come on. They think they can do this to our family. I'm basically the mafia now, okay? I'm the boss. <laughs> Gotta big up my game, you know? <laughs> yeah. Go to Michael's house. Show him who's boss. Oh, I will. I will. Let's go and pay Michael a visit. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's us versus Michael. So, I found Michael's house, and it doesn't look too busy. There's three people in the garden. Another two there. Looks like they're doing some business. One in the tennis court. There might be a few others hidden around places, but other than that, it doesn't even look too busy in the driveway. This looks like it's gonna be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, let's go and sort them out. Hey, buddy, you picked on the wrong guy. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like they saw something. Whoopsie! Oh, no, you guys are panicking. What are you gonna do? Can you even see me? I don't think so. I'm gonna try good old no-scope. Oh! D oh! <laughs> These guys are so confused. Uh-oh! spaghetti -o. Bam! <laughs> yeah. Oh, seriously? All right, let's get that guy, too. Everyone's down. Okay, Franklin, roll in. Let's go and sort Michael out. No one messes with us. Nobody. I'm on the roof. 
You're doing fantastic, Franklin. You're making the Mafia proud. Just gotta deal with the lady on the chair. Sorry, ma'am, you gotta go. They've even put reinforcements around the entire garden. They're worried about people trying to shoot in. They didn't think about me going on top of a skyscraper, did they? <laughs> oh, you guys are so new to this. Michael has no idea what he's doing. Speaking of which, he's gotta be inside somewhere. Whoa, boy, okay, there's a lot of Mafia people here. <laughs> oh, wow, gentlemen, I didn't see you here, but sorry, you gotta go. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay, now they've seen me. Now they've- Franklin, get behind the wall, get behind the wall. No, behind the wall. Franklin, get behind the wall and stop anyone from escaping. Stop them from escaping, Franklin. No one leaves here. Nobody leaves, all right? <laughs> this place is mine. Nice, nice. We're doing good, right? Let's go inside. Hey, Michael, it's only me. Open up. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Hey, officers. <laughs> yeah, the mafia's back in town. Anyone want to show? Oh, jeez, Jimmy. It's okay, oh, there's a man up to <laughs> Oh, hey, Michael. How nice to see you. You're making a big mistake. I don't think I am, Michael. I think you're the one making the mistake. Your run with the mafia is over. Now give me everything you got. You're getting cleaned out. You should thank yourself. Lucky I'm keeping you alive. Hey, don't look at me, Michael. All right, you're in big trouble. You screwed over the mafia. Now you better tell them where you're keeping your money or else things are gonna get way worse for you and your family. Come on, Frank. We can stop this. Me and you. Sorry, Michael. That's not in my interest. What is in my interest is your money. And I know you got lots of it, so where are you keeping it? Come on. Just tell us where the money is. This guy's disrespecting my family. Oh, you gotta stop with the disrespecting, dude. You, you've said it too many times today. It's ridiculous. Okay, Michael, listen, all right? I'm gonna give you three seconds to tell us where the money is. Or is he gonna have to say goodbye to one of your family members? Good one, Franklin. I'm impressed. Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> okay, okay. My money's at this address. It's in cryptocurrency. Thanks, Michael. You just about saved your skin. Whoa, he's got his own restaurant. I had no idea Michael had this. <laughs> Check it out. He's got his own restaurant downtown. Oh, sorry. Can't afford for anyone to be in it. No witnesses. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> so let's go downstairs and find his cryptocurrency stash. Just casually chilling in a restaurant. Wow, I've never been in a restaurant in GTA 5. How crazy is this? Michael is the first one. <laughs> There's even artwork down here. This is so mafia style too. Oh my days. Look at this. He's even got a piano. Wow, that's awesome. Uh oh, another witness. Sorry, ma'am. You gotta go. <laughs> anyone who knows or works with Michael has to go, unfortunately. Let me just do a quick speech. Let everyone know I'm here. <laughs> if there's anybody here, please show yourself. I got free money. Free money? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I just I just wanted to get you. Sorry, Lester. Thanks. <laughs> well, that definitely works. So I got everyone inside. Place is clear. Let's go and find Michael's stash. I reckon it's in the kitchen somewhere. Come on, Franklin. And on the way out, we'll take a little drink. <laughs> Mafia style. Yeah, I gotta get some shades next time. This is too crazy. So he's got some cola, some pot noodles. Are you sure you Selling proper food here, Michael. <laughs> oh, hello. You got a gnome. Wow. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Now, what do we have here? A good old USB drive knocking about. That's got to have the cryptocurrency on. Let's get it and bring it back home. Hey, man, you won't believe this. I got the USB drive with all of his money. Let's go plug it in. Come on. <laughs> so tell me, how much was on there? Ten billion dollars. We're rich again. Ten billion? No way. <laughs> hey, does that mean we can move somewhere else and get out of my house? The mafia? have officially upgraded. Next door to the military base, actually. <laughs> they own Lamborghinis and right now are celebrating a little win. <laughs> I couldn't ask for any better. The music's blasting. There's tons of food around. We're gonna have a good time. And you know what, Franklin? It's been a pretty good day. We wiped out the competition <laughs> and the mafia is back on top. I'm in the cheapest prison in GTA 5 and I have to try everything I can to escape from this place. And once I do, we got to escape another one and another one and another one until eventually we get to the most expensive prison, which is a luxury prison that costs millions of dollars. This prison is made out of wood. Ooh, check that out, though. I would love to try and climb up to them. Do you reckon we can climb up this? No, I don't think we can. All right, doesn't matter. Oh, my days. Hang on a second. What happened to this toilet? Oh, oh, oh. Franklin, did you have curry last night, dude? Well, I need to escape from this place immediately because we can't use that toilet and it stinks. And what's happened down here? Looks like something fell down from the ceiling. Wait a second. Are they knives? That might be my way out of here. How are there so many knives in this wall? Where did you get them from? Well, I'm not spending another night in this prison. I think if we're lucky, we can climb
climb up these knives. Yes, we can. And then fingers crossed we can fit through this. Oh, only just. And I made it out of there. That was so easy. But that was a pretty cool way to escape the prison. Now, what's through this door? Oh, nice. I'm on the island. There's a police boat there, though. We better be careful. Prisoner appears to be in their cell. Over. Copy that. No sign of escape prisoner. It seems like the police boats are patrolling the island. And all they need to do is find a way off this island to eventually escape. Now, that guy isn't actually looking at the prison. He's facing away from me. I think I might just be able to wing this if we jump down this side of the island and start swimming to that side. Come on, Franklin. Go, go, go. Can you press like on this video? You know, just to give me some support today. We're going to need all the good luck we can get. Roger, 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 roger. And just like that, I've made it to the other side. Yes, I escaped. Now, this is a proper prison. Let's check out this cell. All right, I got a bed. There's a ladder, which gets up to another bed. Check this out. I got a bed up here. There's a bed around there. There's even a bed over there. This is awesome. And I got another sleeping place up here and even a desk to work on. Wow, I can write my journal. I can chill in here. But I don't quite know how we're going to escape from this place. Let me test the door. Is it locked? Oh, yeah, the door's locked. And there's a prison guard standing there. And it looks like he's got a shotgun, which I have a feeling he will use if I do escape. Wait a second, though. There's some friends, guys. Maybe I can make friends and we can start a revolution. Hey, excuse me. Can, can you... Can you get me out of this prison? Please be quiet. Ah, man, why does no one want to talk to me? Well, in that case, I'm going to figure this out myself. There's got to be something in this cell we can use. What about under this bed? Let's see. How would you guys escape from this prison? Everything's locked. There's a book there as well. Okay, this isn't working. What about in the toilet? No, nothing there. Come on, there's got to be something I can use. Let's see. Let's see. Anything in the book? There's literally nothing in there. How am I going to escape from this place? Can I use a ladder or something and pickpocket the keys? Come on. This this is not working. Okay, I'm gonna check out the beds again. Ooh, hang on a second. I found like a secret hole over there. But wait a second. I think I can see something behind the pillow. Maybe that helps me get down the hole. Behind the pillow is a bull? Wait a second. I think that's a bull. Now I've got this bull. What do I do with this? Do you reckon we can like throw it at things? Like what if I try and throw one over there? And, oh, wait, hang on a second. Guys, this is not like a basketball. This is like a snowball. Whoa. <laughs> wait a second. What if I throw it? <gasps> no way. I can break the glass. Does that mean I can just climb? I'm straight over, please. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm out of there, guys. And let's get the gun. Hey, buddy. Bam! Nice! Can I get his gun? Come on, Franklin. Get the gun. Get the gun. Get the gun. I escaped. But I'm not out of the prison yet. I still gotta figure out a way to get out of this place. And I don't even know where I am. Okay, let's see. Oh, my days. There's a guard there. Get him. Yes! He's down. Whoa, this is crazy. There's a giant ladder. Guys, I think I was underground. Okay, I better be careful. I have no idea where this ladder will take me to. But uh, we're underground somewhere. Should we make some guesses right now? Oh, oh my days am I glad to be out of there. Fresh air at last. Where am I? Wait a second. Is that who I think it is? Guys, I think I'm in the military base. That's the Marine. Okay, let's think about this. Can I climb over this wall? I gotta get out of here. No, no, no. I gotta find a way to escape the military base. If I don't, I fail. And I really don't want to fail on one of these. Oh my days, there's so many people outside. Dude, there's so many of them. Leave me alone. Come on. Here goes nothing. Get him. Jump. Yes, climb, 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 climb. Run, Franklin. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. Jeez, this is crazy. Oh my my days. This is not how I anticipated the escape to go, but I gotta find a way to escape from the military base, and I am the furthest point away from any vehicle. Someone else is shooting me. I don't even know where they're coming from. Is it that guy? Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on! Get in the car, Franklin! Get in the car! I'm in the car, and now all I gotta do is find a way out of this base. How on earth did I end up in a prison underneath the military base? That's the second prison, too. Can you imagine what the other three are gonna be like? They're gonna get even more expensive than this. Now, I think I know a really smart way out of here. It's 50-50 of my work. I'm gonna try everything I can. Let's go! Come on, come on! <laughs> yes! I made it out of the base. Well done, Franklin. You did really good, buddy. I found somewhere to hide. Guys, I'm gonna hide in that drain pipe. Oh, come on, Franklin. Get out, get out, get out, buddy. Get out, get out. Run, <laughs> run. I'm happy here. They shouldn't find me under here, guys. I am literally hiding underneath the road, and right above me are all the police officers. Look at them. They have no idea where I am, but they're searching everywhere. Please don't find me. Please don't find me. They're coming near the drain pipe. This is so nerve-wracking. I just want to lose the one to level. Come on, leave me alone. Yes! I lost the wand level. I finally escaped the prison. Oh, hey, officer. <laughs> Hello. So glad I lost that wand level, huh? <laughs> well, let's see what the next prison's like. Something tells me it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than this one. This is the third most expensive prison. I'm halfway through this video, and I got weights. Franklin, we're gonna get buff in no time. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see. Whoa, this is a spacious cell. Hey, yo, how you doing? Final wait before prison break. Now, let's see. There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, wait. I can just exit the cell? That's too easy. That no, 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 that's too easy, dude. <laughs> I can just...
just leave. All right, I got a bed. I got some weights. <gasps> I got some food. Check it out, guys. Yo, chips, beans, cucumber, tomato. Finally, someone decided to feed me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I even got a soda on my days. Guys, you can tell we're getting some seriously expensive prisons because now I've actually got space and food. I think I'm gonna drill my way out of here. Find a drill. Where's the drill? There's a fork down here. That's not a drill. Okay, guys, I think we're gonna find a drill. And once I do, we can, like, get out of here. Wait, I can hear a drill. I can hear someone drilling outside. Okay, maybe we gotta exit the cell. Let's figure this out. I'm gonna leave the cell. All right, I'm out of the cell. And th this is the yard, apparently. Where's that drilling come from? I can hear the drilling. Can you guys hear that? Someone is actually drilling with a drill. Oh, jeez, he's looking at me. Get it back. Sorry, that was so necessary. But now, now I got a gun. I got a gun now, guys. Check it out. <laughs> Just in case someone decides to screw with me. Oh, jeez. Hang on a second. I think he caught on. Frankly, we better get running. He saw me do that. Come on. Why do you have to catch me knock out a guard? Seriously? Right, back on the main yard. This is where all the prisoners are. Now, where's this drilling coming from? I found the person with the drill. Amazing. But there's a couple of guards around that thing. Hmm, this is gonna get tricky. I don't really know what to do. Do I get the guards and then get the drill? Do you reckon I can do that? There's quite a few of them. Someone's already shooting me. Well, in that case, let's get the guards and get the drill. Come on, give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me the drill. No, no, are you kidding me? Come on, I died. Just as I got to the drill, someone killed me. Oh, my days. This is gonna be really tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, back in the cell again. <laughs> this is so annoying. How am I gonna do this? I clearly can't get the drill outside. Think, Franklin, think. What are we gonna do to get this drill? I need it to get out of here. Let me think. Let's see. All right, there is a camera facing there. Maybe there could be a drill in here. No, nothing in those drawers. Nothing under the table. Nothing under the bed. Okay, clearly there's gonna be like nothing here. This is where the camera's looking. So if I were to hide anything, let's see. Anything around here? No, it's not at the toilet. Okay, let's just check behind the towels. <gasps> No way. That is crazy. I, since when? I didn't even need to leave my cell. There's just like a secret entrance behind my towels. Let's go. I'm using the drill. This is crazy. They have no idea, guys. The camera's over there, and I'm hidden behind this wall. All they think is I'm having a shower. A very rough one. <laughs> All right, come on, Franklin. Get this hole open. I gotta be close. Come on. How deep is this ground? Okay, jump down. Where is this gonna take me to? No way. I've just found an underground tunnel, and I just dug down to it. That's awesome. All right, Let's follow this through. Where is this gonna take me to? This is so crazy. Right now, I might even be walking underneath guards. You know, prisoners. Where on earth is this gonna go to? Up here? Da -da 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 -da. This is the craziest escape ever. Wait a second. I found the end. Okay, let's see what's through here. I just made it to the other side. This is where the tunnel takes you to. That's awesome. I'm actually really far away from the prison. Like, the prison's somewhere over there. <laughs> How'd I make it here? Well, this was the coolest escape I've done so far this video, but this was only the third one. They're gonna get even more expensive. Well, 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 what have we got here, huh? I'm in a prison cell, I'm in an actual prison, and wait a second, what is this? There's like a red laser outside. Let me just test, is this open? Are you seeing this, guys? It's hitting the door. It's literally making sparks on there. I'm not looking forward to this. I gotta figure out a way to get past that laser. Can I, can I at least, like, you know, just, just sneak out of here? You know, maybe just, just, just sneak out of this cell? Come on! This is so stressful, dude! Let me think, is there anything I can use to block this? Like a bed, a sink, a toilet? Come on, this literally nothing else in here. All right, Franklin, it's now or never, buddy. We're jumping over. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, the guards see me. Get him, get him, get him. Damn. Nice. And I got this. Any other guards here? Nope. All right. Well, in that case, let's take out the cameras and get out of here, Franklin. Go. So let's see. How easy is it out of here? All right, that's open. Oh my days, dude. This is open as well. <laughs> that laser was not going to stop me. This prison is like the easiest escape ever. Uh, okay. Maybe I take that back. I seem to be trapped somewhere. Do I go through this door? Oh, no, 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 no. The door's locked. It's got a padlock on it, Franklin. Come on, shoot the padlock. Come on. Oh, no, this door's locked. I can't get out the door. Can I climb this? Oh, yes, I can. I can climb this. Amazing. Get up, Franklin. Get up, get up, get up. And then jump off this. No way, dude. This is crazy. Uh oh, the police have found me. Quick, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> no chance. Oh, dear. Now the other officers are coming over. Quick, Franklin, we better get moving. All right, leave the prison. Leave, leave, leave. Move it. Yes. <laughs> and then this one. Yes. So apparently this has a flamethrower on top. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, oh my days. It's got a pretty crazy flamethrower. Hey, come at me police officers. This was the easiest escape ever. I don't care if you had some crazy laser in there. I managed to get past easy. Just a scratch on my leg and now we're gonna flamethrower vehicle. Well, now it's time for the most expensive prison escape. Are you ready for this? I definitely am. Let's see what it is. This is the most expensive prison in GTA 5. It costs millions of dollars to build and it looks like I'm living in my own house. Franklin, how do we do this, buddy? And how do 
do we escape? Let me just take a look outside. I think I saw, oh my days, quite a few police officers down there. Yeah, they're gonna be right on us if we do escape. Well, in that case, going through the side gate probably isn't the safest idea, which we could do, but uh, yeah, it is locked. Is there another door around it? Oh, there is. Wait a second. What if I try and go through this door? Ah, man, that door is locked as well. So that means I gotta find a way to escape from this prison. I could play basketball. I could play on the arcade machine. I could go to sleep in six different beds and even a DJ set. Let me play some beats. This ought to get some of the police officers dancing. Hey, police officers, I'm talking to you. Are you ready to birthday? I want everyone outside to dance. Three, two, one, dance. Oh, man, really? You gotta be a sports sport. Well, they won't bring down my mood, that's for sure. My day is going well. There's even TVs in here, dude. Let me think. I can't get through the door. I can't get through that door. And by the way, I've even got a hot tub in here. This is amazing. There's a luxury hot tub in my prison. Whoa. Wait a second, guys. A splash put me in here. How long is this tunnel? Let me take a look. Whoa. Okay, this is seriously long. Uh, Franklin, we, be we better just uh, get back up with the hot tub. Get the hot tub. Come on. Okay. Right. I think I found my way out of here, but I need some oxygen, guys. If we don't get oxygen, then we're gonna drown down there. Let me think. Is there anywhere for oxygen? There's gotta be a tank around here. That's gotta be the way out. It has to be. There's too many officers outside. What about the kitchen cupboards? That's a good place to hide things. Boys, Franklin is ready. I got my oxygen on. Now let's jump in the hot tub. Yes, I'm back in the tunnel and this time the oxygen's working. Oh wait, hang on a second. Do you guys see that? There's something going on down there. That better not be another laser. Let me go through this bush. Oh my days. Guys, guys, there's lasers everywhere. Frankly, we better be careful. There's lasers here, dude. All right, all right. We got a couple of seconds to get through them. I think we can maybe swim oh, around. Okay, and then let's just go over this one. What is going on here? Stop, Franklin. Stop, stop, stop. Jeez. There are five different lasers going to this spot. And I gotta find a way to get through them. Go through here. Nice. Oh, oh, oh that one just got me. Uh, but I think I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was that was close. That was really close. Okay, go down through here. Nice. There's another one. Are you kidding me? Come on. How many lasers are there? This is a really, really tricky escape. Let's just go over this. Yes. Nice one, Franklin. I think I dodged all the lasers. All right, let's go through this bush. What's on the other side? No way. I made it. I'm out of there, guys. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. I escaped. Amazing. That was so close. The richest man lives in this house. He's a non-illionaire and owns the best cars around. I'm about to break inside and steal everything he has, but there's a problem. He's not exactly alone. There are guards right outside, and I have to find a way to fool them and get in the house. Luckily for me, I got Chop with me, the number one companion. He's gonna do his best job at distracting them while I sneak past them and get straight inside that house. Once we steal his money, I'm gonna become the richest man in GTA 5, aka a non-millionaire. That's my boy. <laughs> in a few moments, you'll have them distracted with tons of cuteness. Ah, oh, man, my weakness. A dog. Oh, you're so cute. I gotta show my wife. Hey, boy, do you wanna play with my gun? What's wrong with you? Dogs can't use guns. Give him a knife. No way. It actually worked. Chop has distracted the guards for me. <laughs> now the guards are distracted. Time to steal the cash. Okay, I think if we sneak in around this side of the wall, they won't see a thing. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> this is going so well, Franklin. Chop, you're doing a fantastic job. Once I get inside, I'm gonna steal every single penny this guy has. I jump over his cars. Wow, he has 10 gold cars? This guy has it all. All right, careful, careful. Sneak around them. Yes, they have no idea I just sneak past. All right, Franklin, get inside the house before it's too late. Seems awfully quiet. <gasps> Wait a minute. They're all in the kitchen. What's going on? So I told him Lamborghinis are better when they're gold. He didn't believe me, so I did what I had to do, if you know what I mean. You're so attractive. Oh, ladies. Okay, I gotta choose one of you. Seriously? That's the richest man? Oh, man, he seems so late. Golden Lamborghinis are better than... You know what? I'm just gonna go upstairs, dude. No one's looking at me, and that's where the vault is. Once I get his money, he will have not a single dollar to his name. And then what is he gonna do? Have to sell those golden Lamborghinis for sure. Let's go a little bit quicker, Franklin. Come on, run, 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 run. Is it there? <gasps> no way, it is. I was right. <laughs> All right, Franklin, you know the drill. Let's get this open. Shouldn't be too tricky. Just gotta spin the... Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Did you hear that? You're in trouble now. Fellas, this is a big misunderstanding. I'm just the cleaner. I, I like to wear bandanas when it's cold, you know? You're not allowed in here, and the police are on their way. Oh, man, the police are here, and they're taking me away. Come on. Oh, no, Franklin. We didn't even steal a dollar, and somehow we're in jail. This is not good. I gotta find a way out of here, because I will become a non-illionaire. Mark my words. Hey, Frank. Remember me? Ah, oh, uh, how could I forget you? That's big guy Ben. I put him away in jail five years ago. Oh, no. Every single person in here in this circle is in jail because of me. We should kill him! Hey, hey, who said that? Who? Come on, guys. Come on, that's not fair. Oh, jeez, I'm outnumbered. This isn't good. This is why I don't like going to prison. I know too many people in here. You grab his head. I got his legs. Whoa, oh, 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 my goodness, they've got knives. Hey, guys, guys, okay? <laughs> what do you want from me? Anything. I'll give you anything. Give us your money. My money? All right. That's fine. I... Oh, jeez. I got zero bucks. How do I... Did the police take everything? I thought I had more money than that. Guys, they're gonna kill me in here. Unless 10 of you subscribe to my channel. Oh, jeez, I don't want to die in here. This guy's gonna get me. Hey, how about you guys subscribe to my channel? No. R really? Come on, guys. You haven't even seen my videos. We hate them. You hear that, guys? They hate my videos. I know you guys don't. Please subscribe. I don't want to die in here. I want to become a non millionaire Oh, yes. It's going down even more. And... Amazing. Right, get out of here. Get out of here. Frankly, go, 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 go. Now I'm out of prison. I have another chance of becoming a non millionaire But first, I need to find Chop. I've got my Chop tracker, and he is at the same house. What is he doing there? There better be a good reason for this. You can't just dog nap my dog. Hey, tell me, where's my dog? Where is he? Where's Chop? What have you done with him? I know he's in this house. I got him on the tracker. Howdy, Franklin. Love your dog. My, yeah, exactly. My dog. Speaking of which, can I have him back, please? Thanks for looking after him, but I got out of jail. So, uh, yeah, he's mine now. No chance. The ladies love him, and you know what that means. It means a good night for me. You can't be serious, man. Come on, he's my dog. Give him back. Dave is my lucky charm. If you want him back, you gotta be richer than me. <laughs> good luck with that. Oh, jeez. He's not giving him away. Chop is in there. Oh, my goodness, dude. He's not kidding. They do love him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'll just stand back. Okay, buddy. I'll be back in a few hours. I'll see you later. <laughs> you better get more than just four bodyguards, because tonight things are gonna get crazy. See, what does Lester want? The roses are ready! The what? Hey, Lester, in normal language, please. The heist! He's ready! Heist? Why didn't you just say that in the first place? I can steal this guy's money anytime, and if Lester's promising a heist, then that could bring me a non alien dollars without even touching that guy. There's a prisoner we need! Go down the tunnel and blow a hole in the ceiling! Get the prisoner and bring him back! So I'm in the tunnel. I think this is the way I gotta go? I really don't know. There's two different directions. It didn't exactly tell me which one to go down. I'm just gonna make a lucky guess that it's this one. At least I'm in a prison uniform, so we should blend in. But I meant to blow a hole at the end of this tunnel and get someone out of the prison. With that prepared, let's do this. Throw one on there, another one on there. Fantastic, Franklin. We're gonna be through in just a few moments. <laughs> this is gonna cause a massive explosion. I just know it is. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Get ready, Franklin. Get ready. Get down and boom. Oh, my days. There's the sirens. There's the siren. Da, da, da. Oh, there you are. Come on, you're coming with me. There's no time to think. You gotta come with me now, or else I'm gonna make you come with me. I will explain everything later. Just follow me down this tunnel. All right, we've got someone very important who wants to speak to you. Where is it? Oh, hey, if I were you, buddy, I would really say what Lester wants to hear. Where is it? <laughs> Go on, tell him. We're looking for some treasure, which this guy knows of. Okay, the treasure is, um... <laughs> Oh, oh, it's on the island! It's in the shack! It's, it's there, okay? That wasn't so hard. Oh, well, I'm glad you gave up the location. Thanks, man. Looks like you saved your life there. He's dead either way. All right, Lester, I will go and get the treasure. <gasps> Oh, jeez. He just shot the rocket launcher. Anyway, I found the treasure location where this guy's been hiding some money. And let's see how much it is. This is the island he was talking about. And inside that shack is some buried treasure. Are you ready to see how much money we get? All right, Franklin, you know the drill. Let's blow this open. How much money is going to be inside this vault, dude? We're going to be so rich. I just know we are. This guy went to prison for this. Blow them off. Okay, let's see. What have we got? This is not the kind of treasure I'm used to. Where's the gold? Where's the money? Oh, what does the note say? One, not nearly and cash drive. And the rest is encrypted. It needs to be decrypted. I can't do that. Right, grab the USB drive. Lester, I got the USB drive. Let's decrypt this and split the money. Let me get my laptop. Alright, that's okay with me. We do need 
a laptop to, to decrypt these things, don't we? Yes. Oh, guys, Lester's giving me some really suspicious vibes. Do you mind if I follow you inside, Lester? That would be an excellent idea. Yeah, I really don't like this, guys. I am not trusting Lester whatsoever. Let's just get this money and we'll be out of here. All right, easy peasy. Now, Lester, let's decrypt this. Ah, no, Lester, come on. Seriously, you had to shoot me? That was the biggest waste of time ever. I can't believe Lester double-crossed us like that. I am back to zero dollars. He didn't even leave me a single dollar. Come on. Right, that's it. I'm going to his house. I'm arming up and we are making sure he pays for what he did. I am getting that nonillion dollars. Here we are. Back at Lester's house. Oh, you just wait, Lester. That was the wrong move from you, buddy. Go on, Lester. Show yourself, man. It hasn't been too long. Right, that's it. Close quarters. Where is he? Lester, come on, man. This isn't funny. He's gone. He's literally left. Come on. And the USB drive is taken with him. Seriously? He's taken his entire computer with him. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go back to that non-illionaire. You know the richest guy in GTA 5? I'm gonna steal all of his money. This shoe is from my worst enemy. Find him and rip him apart. Woof, woof, woof. It's a pretty simple plan. You know, this one's gonna go down so smoothly. It involves a sniper rifle and four unfortunate guards. They chose their side. It's not my fault. Well, let's go somewhere a bit further away, Franklin. This is way too close. Ooh, hay bales. That'll do the trick. Can I get on these? I reckon I can. Alright, climb on this and then up here. Just be careful. These can be a bit wobbly, Franklin. Oh my goodness, it's a bit windy up here. Alright, this is actually kind of scary, but it's perfect. I can't see any of the guards from here. I thought this was such a good spot. Gotta find somewhere else. I've got an even better spot in this little satellite tower. And I can see one, two, three of the guards. Can't see all of them. Not quite, but three is just enough. <laughs> oh dear, you guys suck. Damn. Okay, they're all down. Perfect. Apart from one. Very confused guard. Oh, looks like we're playing a good old game of hide and seek then. Wow, he has literally just run away. If I see him again though, he's so going down. Right, let's go inside his house, grab his money, and take Chop away. Sorry ladies, just gonna go and get some money. <laughs> if anyone tries to stop me, they're going to die. What's he doing out there looking at a shoe? Where's Chop? Okay, maybe we'll get some better luck inside the house. You know what? Let's just go to the vault, Franklin. Go to the vault. We'll find Chop once we get the money. There's the vault. Fantastic. Time to open this up. I'm not wasting any time. I don't care if this makes noise. Just want to open this door. And get behind this wall, Franklin. Get some cover. And boom! Oh, that was a big explosion. Hey! What was that? We have finally made a nonillion dollars. 500 octillion? No, that can't be right. This guy's a nonillionaire. Rest of money in bank accounts. Oh, seriously? He only keeps half his money at home. Well, that's fine. I still made 500 octillion dollars, which is a lot of money, but not enough to get shot back and not enough to buy this house and ruin this guy's life forever. Come on, Franklin. Let's go to the bank. Looks like we have a visit to do. Hello? What was that explosion? It was only me, honey. Okay, we'll carry on. I'm just gonna be outside waiting for Dave the dog to come back. Excuse me, mister. I would like to withdraw everything from my bank account. What's the name? Uh, it's on this piece of paper. Everything you need is on there. Just let me in the bank account. Hmm, I need to see some ID. Duh, this guy is making it really difficult for me. You know what? You keep the money. I'll be back again soon. Hey, Lamar, wanna do a heist? Yo, bro, let's go! Yo, I like the getaway ride. Go postal? We'll blend in so easily. Hey, Lamar, you're the getaway driver. I'm gonna go and get the money. Make sure you're outside. I'm counting on you, buddy. Okay, here goes nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to break it up to you, but this is a holdup. <laughs> yeah, I said it's a holdup. Now, let me into your... Oh, come on. You had to press the button, didn't you? Right, that's it. That guy is so dead. Everyone stay on the ground. You're gonna be okay as long as you stay on the ground. Now, who was it that called the police, huh? I'm just gonna say it was all of you guys. Actually, you're the one who didn't give me my money in the first place. You're going down. You're going down. And so are you. Now, are you gonna be a nice person and open the vault? We're running out of time now. All right, hack this open, Franklin. Come on, we can do this. Oh, man, I'm getting nervous. I'm sweating already, dude. Oh, man, we gotta line these up with the red bar. Bingo. I'm in. Didn't even get one mistake. Well done, Franklin. Seriously, another thermal charge? Oh, man, they lock every single gate. Nice, I burned the lock open. Now it's time to take our money, and there's so much money over here. Wait a minute, is there so much money? Okay, that's a lot of money. That's like a billion dollars a stack. What am I collecting right now? Are these million dollar bills or something? Guys, the money is running off the chart. No way. Is this gonna be enough to get me over to a non-million dollars now? I've only made 500 octillion and technically the rest is in here, so it should be. There's only one way to find out. Let's keep
keep stealing. Come on, get this money. I think we might have done it. 250 octillion? Oh, wait a second. I was told this guy had an illion dollars. Where's the rest? I've stolen everything in his house. This doesn't make any sense. I need to speak to that guy upstairs. Hey, mister, where's the rest of the money? I was told there'd be a nonillion dollars in your vault. They keep it offshore with the military. You'll never get it. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Thanks. Your time here is over. All right, Franklin, get in that vehicle and let's get out of here. Okay, there's a couple of officers chasing us. They weren't too happy that I stole from the bank, but not to worry. I have a getaway plan. Since we're driving a vehicle from the postal department, we're going to confuse them. I'm going to drive straight in and straight out. Trust me, this might sound so rookie, but they're going to be so confused. I just know they are. They'll think someone else drove out of there and we did this little switcheroo. Oh, no, we were too late. They did this switcheroo. The classic switcheroo. We lost them this time. Well, I've made 750 octillion dollars. We're three quarters of the way there. And that's what we need to become the richest man and get shot back. But now we know where the rest of the money is. I think it's about time we go offshore and start looking. Hey, fly US. How about you fly us somewhere? Let's go. North Yankton? Not here. It's freezing. But this does seem like the ideal place to keep a lot of money, though. I mean, think about it. Abandoned, desolate, no one lives here. Yeah, no one's gonna steal this money. Yeah, this field looks good. Perfect. Nice one, Franklin. What a landing. Fantastic. Now, don't don't forget where your plane is, Franklin. That's our getaway vehicle. Hang on a minute. Do you see that guy? Maybe he knows something about this money. Let's get a little bit closer. He's talking to somebody. He's part of the police department. That's a police car. Okay, this guy might give us the answers we need. Don't worry, boss. The money's safe. Oh, yes. The money is here. We are in the right place. But where is it? Well, if you want to know, the, the money's underground. Underground? Wow, this guy's giving me every answer I need. Behind the bank. It's using one of the uh, abandoned vaults that they never use. You know? You know? this boss why are you asking me amazing right this guy literally gave me everything well thanks buddy night night ow ow come on oh man another one bites the dust well he'll be waking up in a few hours in the meantime i got his car i know where this underground vault is where they're keeping all of their money let's pick up the speed and let's go this is where los santos is keeping all of their overflow money you know the money which we're not actually meant to see aka a million dollars wow the doors are massive right i think the only way to open them is to use that computer so let's get this open, Franklin. Whoa, they weren't kidding about this place. Oh, hey, boys. I just stumbled in here on my winter walk, and I would like to get that money. <laughs> oh, jeez, this was a bad idea. Franklin, we should uh, definitely switch up our guns and use our minigun. Screw you guys. Well, that was easy. They didn't even get a single bullet on me. That was so easy. Oh, jeez, there's one person left. Get him. Came out of the shadows. Yo, there might still be someone down there. Stay on high alert, Franklin. You never know. What's that on the table inside? Let's take a look. Oh, man, it's stuck within these gates. Maybe I can climb over this one? So, what do we have here? Oh, cryptocurrency. Wait, that sounds a little bit risky, putting your reserve money in cryptocurrency. <laughs> this is San Andreas we're talking about. All right, you know what? I've got the USB drive. Let's see how much money's on this. Once we put this in, we should easily have a non alien dollars. All right, the moment of truth. How much money's on this? Oh, man, 240 octillion. I'm 10 octillion away from becoming a non alien Do you know how painful that is? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Franklin, sell it all. Just sell it all. We are 10 octillion away from becoming the richest player. There's a million and one things I want to do right now, and getting shot back is at the top of that list. But since we only need 10 octillion dollars, I reckon we can find that in the richest houses of Los Santos. Starting off with the most expensive house in the entire world. It's a mansion of dreams and has 20 different bedrooms. So, how are we gonna do this? The easy way or the hard way? Wait, Lester? Wait a minute, what are you doing? Lester? You moved here? Right, that's it. Lester Crest. You better give me what I deserve and more. Franklin, how nice to see you. I was just about to send you your money. Oh, yeah? I don't believe you, Lester. It looks like you were out here gardening, potting some plants. Well, guess what, Lester? You're a non-illionaire, and I need that money. So, in fact, I might just take all of it. You'll never find out. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that, Lester. Where are you keeping it? Ah, okay, okay, I'll tell you. Well, it's a long story. Lester, make it a short story. Okay, okay, okay. It's uh, uh, it's in my summer house. Summer house. Alright, I'm making sure you can't move. Ow! 
Oh, come on! Gotta make sure he can't move. You can't trust Lester. It might not even be in the summer house. It probably won't be, to be honest. Now, let's see. Looks like an empty room to me, Lester. It's there! Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. It is here! Well, that's a lot of gold, Franklin. I will leave Lester with half a bar. Just enough to, you know, live the rest of his life in misery. All right, Franklin, load up on the gold, and let's go and pay the richest man a visit. Come on, boys. Let me in. Not until you pay us. I'll pay you, I promise. I got plenty of money, remember? Not according to your bank statements. You read my bank statements? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, I still got plenty of money. Uh, stored away in secret. Looks like somebody's struggling a little bit. I wonder why. I'm here to buy this house and throw you out. This was you. You, wasn't it? Yes, as a matter of fact, it was. Now, where's my dog? He's in the garden. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> yeah. Right, you can get off my property now. Bye-bye. Have a good time. And guards, you now work for me. Are you going to pay us? Yes, I'll pay you guys. I promise. I got plenty of money. Now, I'm just going to go and get my dog. Where is he? Chop, chop. It's me, Franklin. <gasps> there you are, boy. I'm so glad to see you again. I got chop back. I own this guy's house. I'm officially a millionaire, and everything is mine. And to celebrate, I'm going to take his car around the block. A golden supercar. There's 10 famous people in GTA 5, and Franklin is one of them. He's known for singing, doing TikToks to shop, and showing off his luxury cars. But being famous isn't enough for him. There's seven people more famous than me, and I'm gonna sabotage each one of them until eventually we are the most famous person in the universe. This is where the first person lives. It's a pretty nice house and a crazy bachelor pad. It's on the outskirts of Los Santos, and they don't own anywhere near as nice of a car as Franklin does. I've always wanted to sabotage them. They're pretty mean, and every single time I meet them, they always have something negative to say. Like, oh, you could sing better. Or, oh, your dog could be cuter. <laughs> exactly. They never just say things nicely. Oh, this isn't them. These must be their friends. Hey, guys, scram. This is my place now. Where is he? He's upstairs. Thanks. You're the best. All right, don't move. I'm gonna go upstairs and find him. Easy now, Franklin. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> oh, man, he's asleep. <laughs> Look at this guy on a bed full of cash. He has no idea that I'm standing above him. This is crazy. I think I'll take the money on the way out. But first, I'm gonna use his phone. And I'm gonna use it to send out a horrible bleat. Something about his fans. You know, something to make everyone hate him. <laughs> Post it. My fans are the worst. Oof, guys. I wouldn't want to be this guy when he wakes up. Well, I'll just leave his phone down there. Grab his cash. And I'll be on my way. Pleasure doing business with you, buddy. This is fantastic, dude. I really hope this... No way, guys, check it out. My placement has changed. I am now the sixth most famous person in GTA 5. What? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Way to go, Franklin. That was a really good job. I don't think he's gonna recover from that. We, we hate, hate you. you. We, we hate, hate you. you. We, we hate, hate you. you. No, what did I do to deserve this? I've stolen a police uniform, and we're gonna use this to uh, have some fun. <laughs> yeah. There's a secret venue underground, which not many people know about because only famous people go there. If everyone knew about it, then it wouldn't be a venue for them. Anyway, it's through this door. There's a keypad on the side. Just enter in the buttons and we're in. I found him and it looks like he's doing stand-up comedy. So that's why I thought my dog was actually a badger, but it turns out it was a headshot. Can you believe it? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let me tell you the next one. Oh no, please don't. This guy seriously is not funny. I don't understand why he's famous, but he is. And somehow he's more famous than me. Right, that's it. Time to whack out the police uniform and the badge. Hey, Ben, you're under arrest for pooping on the street and for stealing dog food. Hey, funny guy. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, that's it. I'm going on stage. Get on the ground. I'm not kidding. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I didn't do it, though. Oh, yeah? Well, my imagination <coughs> the cameras say otherwise. <laughs> Come on, get in the car. That's pretty gross, man. I didn't poop on the street. It wasn't me. You got the wrong guy, man. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know exactly who you are, and you're going to jail. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Come on, get in the car. You're going down. People are gonna freak out when they hear about this. Yeah, they really are, dude. I mean, pooping on the street? Who does that, man? That's crazy. Wait a second. I recognize you. You're Franklin. Why are you doing this? You're not a police officer. Oh, no. Guys, my cover's been blown. This guy knows who I am. 
Come on, can you please move? Why are there two buses here? And why are there actual police officers there? Hey, guys, help me. Oh, jeez, they're looking my way. Nothing to see here, officers. Not there we go. You keep walking. <laughs> No! Officers, come here, please! Ah, sucks to be you, Ben. Sucks to be you. Well, we've arrived at the police station. Um, I'm gonna escort you to the cell. <laughs> then I'll be gone. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to do that. I mean, after all, I am in a police uniform. Who's gonna say no? This is crazy. Crazy! Yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? What if I really am a real police officer? Maybe I just do this on the side, you know? <laughs> As a volunteer. Come on, get in the cell. This is not fair! There's a lot of things not fair in this world, Ben. And guess what? I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Well, that means I am oh, fifth place already. Everyone heard about that already. <laughs> wow, word really does spread quickly in this town. I'm the fifth most famous person in GTA 5. And I can already see it's beginning to show. Even animals recognize me now. And so does this guy who's my first actual mega fan. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. Can I get your autograph? Why, yes, of course you can. Here you go. My first autograph. Wow. Now, can you can you guys just leave me alone, please? All oh, my days. There's another fan? Are you kidding me? <laughs> if this is what five is like, what is gonna be insane? Wait a minute. I don't recognize that car. What is that doing in my driveway? Simeon? Wait a second. This doesn't make sense. What's going on? My boy, I got you a gift. Just tell them it came from Simeon, you know? You got me a gift? <gasps> Guys, this must be because I'm the fifth most famous person in Los Santos. Thank you so much, Simeon. <laughs> I didn't think I would get this. Well, you know, son, you're famous now. You just tell them Simeon is the best car store in town. I will, of course, Simeon. Don't worry. <laughs> wow, I never thought he would actually give me cars for free. That's so unlike Simeon. All right, let's get driving, Franklin. Time to prank the next celebrity. Oh, you're going to love this one. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. This is where the fourth most famous person lives. They have a pretty nice house. This is their country house. They have several more around the entire city. This is paradise. Just look at what they have. And the view of the train bridge. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, I did have a really good idea up my sleeve, but since this person is so remote and in the country, we might be able to get away with something a little bit cheekier. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if that door's open, Franklin. You never know. Is it open? Oh, yes, it is. Fantastic. All right, this is great. <laughs> yeah. So, where is she? She's known for, you know, writing books and making films. She's actually pretty cool, but I really want to become the most famous person. So these people have got to go. Let's see. What about down? <gasps> Wait a minute. I found her. She's doing some yoga. <laughs> what a lovely place to do some stretches. Let me just check if there's anybody around. Let's see. No, seems pretty deserted to me. We'll keep this a secret between me and you. Sorry. Bam. <laughs> Right, she will not be famous anymore. Or she will be even more famous than ever. I really hope it's the first one. <laughs> no. Right, that's it, Franklin. Get out of here. Yes, it works. Fantastic. Guys, I am officially the fourth most famous person in Los Santos. That means there's just three more people left to sabotage. And we will officially become the most famous person in the universe. Wow, what a concert. Is that Bigfoot? I didn't realize you were the third most famous person. Ooga yeah, wagga, yeah. ooga yeah, wagga, yeah. ooh, ooh. I can totally see why he's famous. Woo! We love you! I will never understand fame. How is Bigfoot the third most famous? So does that mean the other person? Oh, they must have really fallen off. Well, um, looks like they got fireworks. This is quite the concert. This person really is doing well, but not well enough. And once I'm done with them, they're gonna be all the way at the bottom. I need to find the tech room. And once we have that, we have full control over the entire show. I have a feeling the room is somewhere around the back, like here. Yeah, this is where the costumes are. And oh, I got it already. Fantastic. I found the tech. All right, let's go into that room, Franklin. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. I will be taking over the tech today. Come on now. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. I expect you all to stay on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So, whilst they're on the floor, I am going to make some adjustments to the stage. Let's switch off that mic just for a few seconds. See what happens. Ooga, 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 ooga. Hey, that works. I switched off the speakers for just a few moments. Hey, let's do that again, Franklin. Uh, <laughs> and this time, we're gonna really mess with him. Thanks, everyone. Let me tell you my next song. Bigfoot rolls. I wrote this myself. I have a big foot. I have a big foot. I have a big monster. I... 
What's going on? What the what? Oh, oh, I'm a big monster. My name is Big. F oh, it's so annoying. One more time, and he's gonna rage. I know he is. He's on the brink of raging already. I wrote this next song for my girlfriend. She's in the crowd. I see you, Christine. I love you. The night was cold. It was snowing and raining. I was big. Oh, I hate this stupid fan, so come on! Why did I choose to do this? This is stupid! Oh, I hate this job! Oh, 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 sorry. Was my mic on? Oh, yes, it's worked. They're booing him. <laughs> come on, Franklin, let's go outside. I want to see what the scene looks like. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't mean any of it. I promise. We hate you. How dare you? Yeah, how dare you? I didn't mean it. I promise. Well, my work here is done. I'll let them go after Bigfoot. <laughs> well done, Franklin. We are now officially the third most famous person in the entire GTA universe. Now I'm the third most famous person, a lot more people are recognizing me. <laughs> this is a massive upgrade from the fifth most famous in GTA 5. But can you imagine what the most famous is gonna be like? I'm not gonna get a moment's peace when I'm the most famous. Hey guys, can you please go away? I can't run uphill. This is stressing my legs. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Simeon? Are these some more cars? These are for you. Remember, Simeon is best in town. Oh, I'll remember all right. <laughs> You've given me four supercars and these are beautiful. Simeon, I, I, I can't even thank you enough, man. You're giving me too much. Oh, don't mention it. Business is booming because of you! Wow, I never thought we would do that, Franklin. Being the third most famous person, having close ties with Simeon, risky, but great for Simeon. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna drive. Ooh, let's go with this right, Franklin. Let's go and sabotage the second most famous person in the GTA universe. Are you ready? Because I definitely am. This is where the second most famous person lives. It's a much better upgrade to anything else we've seen before. He owns a golden helicopter and a bunch of nice cars. Rumor has it, Red's his favorite color. <laughs> yeah. Now this guy made a mistake because he only hired one security guard. What is he going to do when someone takes him out? Like, whoopsie. <laughs> yeah. And with the security guard sorted, I'm just gonna drag him out of the way so, you know, no one stumbles across him. Uh, come on, big fella. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put you down in those bushes down there. Why do you have to be so heavy, man? Are those clothes made of lead or something? <laughs> right, let's drop him down here. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. I'll just leave you in this bush. With him taken care of, uh, the these stains will leave eventually when the rain comes in. I need to find the richest man, however. He lives in a pretty big house, and it might take me a while to actually find him, but he's definitely in. Check out those cars. He has so many different supercars, and not in the garage. This guy is 100% a show-off. Can't confirm. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's go inside and find him. Oh my goodness, he's even got a lake around his house. This is mega luxury, and he's the second most famous person. Imagine what the most famous person lives like. He's got some pretty famous artwork pieces. And let me show you the best bit. He literally has a swimming pool inside his house. It's insane. But it's time to go upstairs and find him because I can hear some music making going on up there. <laughs> this guy is a music producer, singer. He does it all. And right now, he's spitting bars in the booth. Oh yeah, what I know. Pretty amazing bars, man. My name is Ricky. Don't take the mickey. I'm the biggest one in the whole of the city. Yeah, probably could do with some work. Alright, I don't want to get spotted. Let's just run around here. I got a few things to do first and then will ruin his reputation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna love this. I'm going to find their vault and steal everything they have. It seems only acceptable. You know, this guy's really famous and therefore really rich. Now, where is he keeping his money? This is his bathroom. Probably not in here. Let's see, all I found are bedrooms. Oh, what about through this door? What do we got here? Oh, fantastic. There it is. A briefcase full of money. This is the kind of guy who would just carry cash around for the fun of it. But that's a lot of money, Franklin. That's like $2 million in there. Great. Grab it. Okie dokie. Case secured. I got his money. Now, let oh my days. Wait a second. There's even more money here? Seriously? I've stocked up on every single dollar bill in this house. Five million dollars. Can you believe that? Now it's time to really have some fun. <laughs> yeah. So, he does love his cars, but so do I. And only one of us can have nice cars. Sorry, Ricky, but these have got to go. This is going to make him so angry. But it's not over yet, guys. This isn't going to ruin his reputation. This is just going to ruin him. Yeah, can you tell? I didn't like Ricky. He was never a fan of me and didn't believe in me in the first place. Well, Ricky, look who's about to overtake you. <laughs> yeah. Right, this ought to get some attention. Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> 
one of his cars went straight over the fence. What was that? Uh, Ricky, I think that was an explosion. My cars! My cars! Ow! I have no idea, man, but he's screaming at the top of his lungs. Right, time to get out of here <laughs> without anyone spotting me and go on to phase two of the plan. With no money and no cars, he's really gonna struggle when the next thing kicks in. This is the easiest sabotage as well. You guys won't even believe this. Oh, you see this lovely car over here? Nothing compared to anything Ricky has, but that doesn't matter. I'm gonna steal it and park it casually in his garage. After all, rookie mistake, Ricky. You keep your garage door open and you only had one guard at the gate. You're the second most famous person in the world, Ricky. How can you let this happen? Seriously. I hope he's got inside so he doesn't see any of this. I'm going inside. I don't want to see any more. Here goes nothing, Franklin. Leave it in his garage and then we call the police. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually gonna arrest him like 100% this time. It is gonna be great. I just leave the car there, park it in the garage, close the door, and get out of here as fast as you can. Like, go, 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 go. Fantastic. All right, I'm out of the house. We're done. My job here is done. Almost. Now we just gotta call the police over. Pick up. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello, police. There's a stolen car in this person's house. There we go. That'll do the trick. <laughs> so when they show up, they're gonna take a look at his house, find this car, realize it's stolen, and arrest him. Are you ready to watch this unfold? Because I am. We have arrived at 7709. Looking for the stolen car. My name is Officer Joe. I'm joined here with Billy. Billy, why are you in the... You're in the wrong side of the car, Billy. I like him back here. You're crazy, Billy. Now, let's see. Where would you keep a stolen car? That's a garage. Looks suspicious. This man's already guilty. But can we find the... <gasps> there it is, the stolen car. I don't believe it. This is an outrage. Well, okay, Billy. Let's not go too far. You know what else was an outrage? But he didn't give me a donut. Yeah. I'm sorry, boss. Yeah, well, next time feed me two donuts instead of one. Well, don't walk into the car, Billy. What are you doing, Billy? I'm testing if it's a car. Duh. Duh. Yeah, it's definitely a car. Of course it is. Yeah, I'm disappointed, Billy. I'm going to go and arrest this man. Ding dong, it's the police. You, you know what? I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm going in. Hello, this is the police. You're under arrest for stealing a car. Stealing a what? I didn't do nothing. You tell that to that judge. Now get in my car. People like you need to learn a lesson, Billy. Billy, where are you? I'm here, boss. He's got some pretty good china. You're a weird one, Billy. You're really strange. Calling in all units. We got the guy. He's going to jail. Do you have any idea who I am? Nope. We don't care. Well, that sure was eventful. We got him arrested, and now that puts me as the second most famous person in the entire GTA universe. I am just one spot away from becoming the most famous person. Are you excited? Because I 100% am. Right, let's get planning. The most famous person is way beyond anyone else in this universe. It's not a close battle. She is miles ahead. It's gonna take a lot to take her down, but Lester, what are you calling me for? Frank, need anything at all? Give me a Sure thing, Lester. Thank you. Even Lester's giving me free services now I'm this famous. This is great. Will I ever have to buy anything again? The most famous person is on her yacht, and people are lining the beaches just to get a glimpse of her. This is pretty crazy fame. She's a mile away, and they're screaming her name. Whoa, go on. You're the best. Yeah, man, I don't think she can hear you, but well done for trying. Can I see her from here? Let's take a look. What is she doing? Oh, no way. She really is there. That's incredible. But I need to think of a really good way to sabotage her in order to become the most famous person. And I can't exactly just take her out. That won't work. I'm going to borrow this jet ski and sneak on board. And then we can let the games begin. <laughs> oh, she's going to be so annoyed at me. I wonder if she knows who I am. She better. I did just take out all of the competition. And get ready, Franklin. We're about to go on board. Not a single security guard. Come on, what are you playing at? You need security. All right, let's get on board. A hey, bam. <laughs> Fantastic. I've snuck on board. Now let's go and find her quietly. We don't want to cause any noise. This is a pretty nice yacht. She's right up there, dude. I have no idea how she hasn't seen me. This is an amazing yacht, by the way. Imagine the parties she's having on this. I mean, I would have so many if it was mine. Maybe I'll borrow it afterwards. She's literally doing nothing. <laughs> I am going to throw her overboard. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. I need you to get off this boat. That's right. Get a little bit closer. What did I do to you? Do you know who I am? Yes, I know exactly who you are. Now, as I was saying, get off the yacht. Go. Bye. <laughs> save me. You gotta save me. Uh, no, I'm not gonna save you, sorry. You're on your own. But I'm gonna get my revenge. 
You wait! She's really annoyed at me, and she's swimming away! Straight towards her fans on the beach! Oh no, I hope you don't get too swamped! <sighs> Give me an autograph! I want an autograph! No! No! My phone's broken! Ah, leave me alone! Leave me alone! You guys are crazy! Get away from me! I don't have anything to do with you! Give me your hat! I want it! What is wrong with you guys? Stay away from me, you idiots! Stay away! I'm getting my boat back! Oh, man, she's coming over to me. She got a jet ski. Right, Franklin, we better sail this thing away. She's not getting this yacht. It's mine. <laughs> Anything to annoy her even more. Right, time to go. See ya. Right, time to get out of here. There is no way she's getting this yacht. It's mine. <laughs> After all, I'm just preparing for becoming the most famous person in the universe. She's gone back to her house, and it's unlike any place we've ever seen. Who did this to me? Find them. Don't worry. We got insurance. We'll find a way. I want him dead. Okay, let's calm down for a second. You are famous, after all. I don't care! We love you! Come outside! Come outside! Oh, I don't know what to do! That's okay. You don't have to worry about what to do. I I'll do that for you. In fact, I will sort these people out just for you. <laughs> I'll blow up their cars first, and they'll blame it on her, because it's on her land! Now I put a sticky on every single one of those cars, all I gotta do is get some distance and blow them up. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna be happy about this. Alright, give me a second. Da -da 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 this is gonna be Perfect. Three, two, one, boom! Oh man, what happened there? What just happened here? That was not cool. Not cool. I know, right? That was so not cool. That must have been some freak accident. Hey, let's do another one. Let's blow up her cars too. <laughs> this will make her rage so bad. She has so many nice cars and she loves them to bits. All right, there we go. That ought to do the trick. Okay, let's just go up the stairs and we'll find a nice hiding spot. Three, two, one, and bumps away. <laughs> Who did this? Not my cars. Yes, I might have made her angry and I might have just made her fans angry, but we can do better. She owns a pet husky and I'm gonna take him for a little walk. She loves this dog more than anything in the universe. Don't worry, the husky will be fine. I just need to make sure we have enough leverage on her. <laughs> yeah. Alright, come on little boy, I got a treat for you. Do you want to follow me? I'll take it as a yes then. Oh, I can smell the treats already. Don't worry, the husky's gonna be fine. I love dogs. Oh my days, who's that guy? Hey, Franklin, we should probably uh, leave right now. <laughs> As for this really famous lady, however, I'm not really a fan of her. She's a little bit mean to a few people, and I think they're gonna really see her true colors now. <laughs> yeah. Where's my dog? Where is he? Oh, hello there. Are you looking for him? Yeah, he's chasing his tail. I got him occupied with a few treats. You! You're the one from the yacht! Give him back! If you want your dog back, you gotta get him yourself. Let's go, Franklin. Run! <laughs> Catch me if you can. You're dead. You're so dead. Oh, this is gonna be great. She really doesn't like me. Now she's chasing me. I gotta get her exactly where I need her. Come on, Franklin. Keep running. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is perfect. Ah, ah. <laughs> she got me. Oh, no. You're dead. You're so dead. Whoa. Hey, okay. We can drop the knife now, can't we? That's a little bit too far. This is for everything. Yes, it's worked. They found her. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might want to look around you. Stop it. Stop taking photos. St <laughs> Give me the phone. No. no! Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I think you've had enough now. Let's just... Oh, jeez. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Okay, great. I think we better get the police in for this. I can't believe she actually used that. But that means, oh my days, I have just been promoted to the number one most famous person in GTA 5. And suddenly, everyone knows me. Wow, oh my days, this is actually crazy. The entire park's chasing me. <laughs> hey guys, slow down. I can't believe this. I am now the most famous person in the universe. As for everyone else, well, let's just say I wouldn't want to be them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your autograph? Please, give me your autograph. Guys, I'll give you autograph soon. How about we get a selfie together, huh? Hey, guys, 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 slow down. We can all get a selfie. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, my days. Everyone knows me. Right, get out of that crowd, Franklin. We need to find somewhere safe. Maybe I should phone up Lester and, you know, get one of those favors he offered me. Say hello to my new house. It's very hidden away. The perfect place to stay when you're the most famous person in the universe. Let me show you around the place. It's kind of small, but very very nice. <laughs> yeah, there's my kitchen, and then here is my bathroom. Voila, I got a jacuzzi. It's, it's lovely in here, by the way. This is an entire wet room, but the swimming pool is where it's 
that, guys. Look at this masterpiece. There's islands in there. There's a jacuzzi. And this is a really deep swimming pool. Like, check this out. <laughs> yeah. I can look through my glass window at everything in front of us. How crazy is that? I love this place. And nobody knows it exists. We're pretty hidden away. Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, yes. That would be me. I am here. How did you find this place? Who is this guy? I heard you're the most famous person. Why, yes, I am. Thank you. You heard correctly. Be my client. I'll give you a hundred million dollars. What? A hundred million dollars to work with this guy? Hey, yeah, I'm in. Count me in. <laughs> I've just made a hundred million dollars from simply being famous. And Franklin, it looks like we've got an amazing future ahead of us. But until then, I'm gonna end the episode here. Smash like if you enjoyed and help me get to six million subscribers by Christmas. We're getting really close, but only you guys can help us get there. Thanks for watching. My name is Nord, and until next time, stay awesome.